It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God here, uh, the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Wax is here, yeah. and we got some special guests because uh, our guy Schultz is not with us. But let's 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 start the show with the sponsors first of all. Today's show is sponsored by Cushy Dreams. All right, the world today is nuts. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. All right, smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Now let's start the show. Now, uh, w- Wax is here. Alex, where is Schultz again? Uh, he's in LA doing something. Schultz okay. is in he LA hasn't doing announced. something. Yeah. He's on the casting couch. No, he, that he hasn't announced. Uh, oh, he hasn't announced? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Salute to our guy Schultz. He's working. He ain't even tell me what he was doing. He just said that he's going to be gone for the next couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, 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 like I said, Wax is here, and uh, oh, Nyla Simone is here, NYLA. Yeah. Big Nyla! <laughs> What's up, Big Nyla? The little one. Yo, you give me the most grand introductions. You really deserve it. That. Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And my guy, I ain't seen my guy since January 2020. I saw him at the, uh, when we did the premiere for Bad Boys for Life movie. My man Jack Thriller is here. Yo. What's up, man? I got to give Jack his props, man. I just yeah. found out some information about Jack. <laughs> and I, had to, I had to ask first if you know this is out there so I can talk about it because I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Man, I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of you. You just seen me be the man. Hey, yo, when I was getting divorced, Charlamagne was the first one to text me like, hey, man, I heard you getting divorced. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> she had to put it on Instagram or some shit like that, and you had hit me up about that. Because when I saw y'all, you know, y'all used to look so happy together. We, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, believe yeah, it. Just on Instagram. Just on Instagram. <laughs> and I remember even Duval, and you know, Duval don't like to give nobody credit for nothing, nothing right? That. And he posted, he was like, man, when I see Jack and his fiance, it looked like the epitome of love. I just can tell when I see love. One of the rare times Duval was wrong. Yeah. 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 100%. 100%, man. But now you with, um, man, can I say it? Yeah, sure thing. He with Lily from SWV. Oh, fire! Oh wow! I'm like, damn! I knew, Jack, I knew that for a little minute. Cause you gotta, you gotta. I, I, I salute my brothers because that's we we came up loving them, man. Loving, you know yeah. what I mean? There's certain women that throughout the '90s you just love, and Lily was one of them. Lily mm-hmm. from SWV was absolutely one. Score, man. She still is. She's a beautiful person. Of course, man. absolutely. Hundred percent. Grown ass woman. Hundred percent. I went. I we we I, I went on a fake date with her one time. Yeah, I had someone that on, on uh, the internet. I was yeah, like, yeah. hey, so what was going on? <laughs> she, I was like, want to do the uh, Brilliant Idiots and stuff. And, and she was like, oh, um, I had went on a fake date with him. <laughs> I, I, I remember that, date. too. Well, I remember that, fake? too. What's fake about it? It's reality TV. Yeah. It's like, and, and it's like the way they edit it. I, I didn't know what I was going there to, to, to talk to Lily about. We, I was in there telling, giving her like relationship advice almost. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then the way it was kind of yeah. like, Cut up. It was like, oh, you know, I got a crush on Charlemagne, whatever, whatever, or something. I don't know. Something like that. I could be gassing it up. I don't know if it was crush. That was a while ago. That was so, so long. That shit made me get engaged. It, 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 was, it was on a horse. Or something. That made you get engaged? We, got on, we didn't get on no horse. Uh, we did? I think it was in New York. I think so, right? We got on a horse and carriage? This is like, how long? This is... <laughs> No, that shit made me get engaged because I was like, I'm wilding, bro. I'm doing too much. <laughs> I'm doing too much. Like, I'm, di- I'm disrespecting every. I'm disrespecting myself. I'm disrespecting my girl. Like I was. What made me yeah. get engaged? I got engaged after that. Okay. Yeah, I got yeah. engaged after that and got married a couple years later. I was married when I met her. I was uh, supposed to be going to go interview uh, SWV at BB King. Mm-hmm. So, but, and I didn't want to do that, but I didn't want to go home to my wife either. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the SWV. Jack, you're making it sound so bad. Don't you know I'm engaged, right? <laughs> Get out of here. That, yeah, you told me that. I helped save your marriage. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Let's talk about that later, though. No, let's talk about it now. How you help save it? No, no. I'm okay. Leave me alone, baby. I got nothing to do with this. So I go to the uh, SWV concert and whatnot, and then, you know, I'm hearing (laughs) Lily tell these jokes in between her set, and I was like, damn. 
Um, God, why am I with this bitch? I want her. Don't call mm. her. Right, now, fuck that bitch. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't know she, put, she put me out on Instagram and said I was a womanizer. And she did? Yeah. No way, way yes. Jack. Yes. Yeah, Can't yeah. take it personal if she's hurt. No, uh, break it down now. I, I, didn't, I didn't hurt her when she was hurt, but now I'm hurting her, you know, now that I feel better. Send her healing energy. Yeah, I'm still in oh, the boomerang. You're right. Why, why do you, you say? Why do you say you shouldn't? Uh, what do you say? Because hurt people just say things because they're hurt. They don't really mean it. That's True. why you gotta like take a day. Mm. And if it's a marriage that's ending, she probably needs like a year or two before she's unbitter about. The but don't put it on the gram. Let's let's be uh, unhappy and hey, in private. Everybody got their <laughs> outlet. <laughs> everybody got that outlet. Some people social media. Some people liquor. Some people weed. Some people fucking. Like everybody yeah. got. Their Thank God thing. she wasn't on no pills and tried to kill yeah. herself. How old was yeah. she? Yeah. Um, she was like she's two years younger than me, so she would be thirty seven now. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't yeah. like stuff like that. I think that you know you should be, and I'm I'm not knocking her. Please, sister, I'm not knocking you. It's just like I think you should be a little bit more emotionally intelligent. Um, to not put that type of stuff on social media. Yeah. You know 100. what I mean? That's a lot of people. You know? Because sometimes there's no coming back from that. Because sometimes now, there's no coming that's back. That's right. Because you get everybody in your business 100. and everybody yeah. got an opinion and it becomes high school and a situation that y'all might have sat down, talked to, went to therapy about and resolved mm -hmm. then got so big and inflammatory it's like, man, I don't even want to be a part yeah. of it. Exactly. But also being that you are who you are, you know, a lot of women, if it's ending, it's like, yo, I'm losing my end to this. Ooh. But so we can, if we like, talk about it and we can be friends, then I can still help you with that. Peace. But if you if you put me in a position where I can't even be your friend no more, yeah. then uh, I'm I'm, I'm in situations like that same yeah. thing. Like once you done burnt that bridge, it's like it's over. Not now, Charlotte. I'm doing oh, good. Exactly. I got a strong my bridge <laughs> is strong like the table. Okay, like I'm okay, high. Okay. So you went to BB King's. You yeah. see Lily telling jokes. She was telling jokes in between, but if she was that sort of personality. You let her tell it and whatnot. She's funny. And so um, two months later, I go to a BBD concert, and me and my wife walking past her backstage, and me, I looked at her. She looked at me, and I was like, God, I'm still with this bitch. And um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, fast forward. Yeah, stop, yeah, stop, calling it a, stop calling it a B word. I apologize. Yeah. This was yeah. the old me. This is 2017. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But so fast forward, um, 2021 was this year? Yeah. 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 I moved back to Atlanta in February. I invited mm -hmm. her um to a DM to my roast and whatnot at Uptown Comedy Club. And it was it was packed to capacity. And she showed up. Ooh. She showed up mm -hmm. as my date. So you wore the right outfit that night. You could I had a suit on, I had came with a sprinter. Oh, did, did you sing for her? You sung for her? I didn't sing. I didn't sing that. Okay. I didn't sing. But she she got came up with her, brought her son with her. And when she just came, I was like, hey, listen, I deserve you. And she Ooh, was just so that gone. was your opening line? That was my opening line. I deserve you. I don't really like oh, it. I don't like it either. I like, it. I like, I like, I like the confidence that yeah. he's feeling. Yeah. Yeah. But it does have a sense of entitlement, entitlement to yeah. it. Yeah. I, yeah, I feel entitled. <laughs> but, 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 but after all I didn't do for this country, <laughs> all I for hip -hop. yeah, I deserve that. But it's a great opening line because yeah. you can't help but be intrigued when a man tells you that. I deserve it's you. It's going one or two ways. That's right. well, Hold on. Well, was the son there? Was the son there he when you right said there. that? And I was, and he was trying to chime in. I was like, hey, man, shut the fuck up. I'm about to give you your stepdaddy. And then so oh. anyway, like I was saying. How old, how old wow. is your son? 30. Oh. <laughs> but I had all, we, we would have beat his ass. <laughs> we would have beat his ass if he had a problem with me talking to his mom. Man, you know that, man. You know you're still dating his mama right now. Yeah, yeah. We over it now. Oh, but no. Yeah. You're going to see. It was all that shit you was talking on, brilliant idiot. <laughs> I, I you're going to beat my ass. I, still, I, mean, I will beat the fuck out of her son. Okay. Like I was his stepdad. <laughs> My brother, I don't know you, King. I'm this bullshit. Yeah, yeah I'm not saying you. Jack, what's going on, man? I'm playing around. I'm playing around. Just, just uh, whatever happens, yeah. make sure you record it, young King. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and He's so, a good kid. So how did she reply to that line? Uh, she was like, all right, what are you, let's go out on a date. And I was like, really? With me? That, that's when the confidence went backwards and whatnot. And I was. Ain't that kinda, wild yeah. when you use a line that you didn't think was going to work? Yeah. And now it's like, shit, that yeah. shit worked. That's now, my whole life. Yeah. They, didn't, they didn't tell me what to do after <laughs> They didn't tell you what to do after <laughs> I just wanted to be able to say, I shot my shot. That's right. Yeah. That's right. 100%. In a memorable way. In a memorable so way. So when you tell the story later, 100%. you can tell it. You and can... I got plenty of them. You know that. Okay. okay. I got plenty of the stories okay. where I shot my shot yeah. and whatnot. And all. Um, you know, nothing materialized. How many? How many people that we know that are notable? You shot shots at Angela Yee. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You you seen the video where I gave her the bath and all that shit? I remember that. Yeah, yeah. And that was the same night I met my wife. Wow. I left that to go uh, go on a real date with her, and yeah, she altered my future. 
Uh, to, uh, to my future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, distracted the shit. I, when you go do what the devil wants you to do, uh, <laughs> I had kept the devil first that day. But, um, but I mean, that had to be light. MC, MC I Light. Shot to, uh, well, you yeah. said MC Light. Now, MC Light ain't with no bullshit. I can no, look at her. And I know she ain't with no bro, bullshit. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm a little intimidating off the rip. But keep in mind, I got a star in my eye and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, look yeah. crazy. So you trying to see hmm. where this shit going to go. Yeah, so what'd you say to MC Light? <laughs> I said something like, um, <laughs> you need a rough neck. Got to have a rough neck. I, I told her that <laughs> no. I would give up my, 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 my good eye for her to hit a split on my face. Oh One time, yeah, I'll say something wild like, "Do you remember how I was back in the day?" Yeah, that was a different era. Uh, Jackie was like that now. What year this was? Yeah, this was like 12, 13 on the red oh, carpet. Yeah, 12, 13 years ago. Yeah, no, oh. no on two thousand thirteen. Yeah. yeah, it was a different world back yeah, then. Yeah, just completely different. Disrespectful as shit. And she, she, bu she bust out laughing about it, told DJ d because me and DJ, DJ d Rick was going to do my show <laughs> yeah. called um, uh, um, uh, 16 or Better, and then we was going to do it in New York. And I know on the West Coast. And uh, she What the hell is 16 or Better? 16 or Better is a rap cypher show. It's like the BET cypher, but except it's every week. Got you, got you. Mm -hmm. Yo, people like uh, Young and May started out on there. Um, Benny the Butcher, all kinds of, of uh, uh, MCs. Oh, I never up saw country. that. Yeah, it's, uh, I be posting it up all the time. Yeah, but I'm glad ahead. you had said that because I do need a drop for them motherfuckers. I got you. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so MC like who else? Um, Marsha Ambrose. Um, oh, I love Marsha. Yeah. Floor Tree, one of my favorite groups of all time. I love Floor Tree, but I love Marsha as a solo artist too. Yeah. But well, Marsha ain't with the bullshit either now. No, no, she ain't with the bullshit at all. What'd you say to her? Um, I, I, I said all you got to do is say yes. And she, yeah. said no. <laughs> she definitely said no. She said no yes. off the rip, off immediately. The rip. Yep. And oh, period. I, I kicked it to Beyonce before. You're a liar. Yeah. Oh, yep, I gave her my business card and everything. What she year was she this? Oh, me. What year was this? This was like 03. So she was in Destiny. No, she was a solo artist by 03. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She was a solo artist and whatnot. She never called me. I met her at Visions. And she took your card? She took my card. She was wow. in Atlanta in she Visions? She was in Atlanta Doing at what? Visions. Um, just like a walkthrough. Probably this really? Whole, all up. Yeah, yeah. But she still was her. Have well, Jack, Jack's telling the truth. But listen, have I ever told you how nice of a person Beyonce is? She's amazing. She would never diss you. You know what I mean? No, she didn't diss me she, at all. She, she, she'll walk in the room, say hi to everybody. Mm. You know what I mean? What was your, Did you have a line for her? And I just said, hey, call me sometime. <laughs> and handed her a business and card. And then she said, oh, you know what? I'm definitely going to call you. You're a liar. Yeah, I promise you. She, she said that. Yeah. Jay-Z going to call you. She said that. <laughs> she never Old called me. I think she lost you. my card. And the next thing you know, she's married to Jay-Z. Can you believe that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we all can believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but the deal would be busy, man. <laughs> Anybody yeah. else? Um, man, you you name them, I don't probably holler at them. God damn! You name well, you Amanda Seals, all, all kind of. Yeah. I know Amanda shut you all the way to fuck. Up. Amanda and me used to go back and forth all the time and whatnot. She never took me seriously at all. I can I can I can see that. Yeah yeah yeah. Not yeah. because of you, because of Amanda. I know who. One hundred percent. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, you went out to L'Oreal. I remember L'Oreal. Yeah, that happened. I even gave L'Oreal put L'Oreal on my show. All that bullshit. <laughs> Trying to hit that. Hold on, you, you, you tried to make L'Oreal a co-host of your podcast? Yeah, Just for you toxic as fuck, <laughs> Jack Thriller. What was this? This was back in 2017, 18. God, damn, that's too, no, that's yeah. too, that's too hey. late in the game. Yeah, yeah. You well, both didn't turn the tide by then, Man, Jack. if I'd have known she was going to blow up like this, I would have treated her nice. Oh! <laughs> uh -uh. If I'd have known, uh -uh. talking about? if I would have known the girl next door would have been you, I would have been more nice to you. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh, oh, she's good for this. I can't wait. What? 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 what, 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 what. L'Oreal. She's going to death. L'Oreal told people that I didn't have a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. She told this me. Great. She told people that. How yeah. would she know that? Hey, uh, she just said that she don't. She can't imagine me having a dick. And That's stuff. very interesting. Yeah. L'Oreal right. talented though. You know what I'm saying? So Super like, talented. like she like L'Oreal's doing exactly what we would expect her to be doing. Like, she blew up, making money off words. Yeah. You know Lord what I mean? Mercy. No, for real. That's her. Because she used to rap. You she know what I mean? But if you ever been around L'Oreal, L'Oreal got crazy personality. 100%. She don't bite her motherfucking tongue. No. She's crazy. She's aggressive. You very. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't care who. Oh, Even after me. Mm -hmm. That what was hilarious. Y'all, y'all ain't got into it, right? Yep, because it was wax first fault, ten seconds. Nope. That you was your playing fault. around too. That was your fault. That was you playing. playing around. No, we was, was playing, playing around. I was not playing. Yeah, wax was playing. You asking people about a jersey dress for a guy? Yes, but I, asked, I was asking L'Oreal opinion because we was talking to somebody's manager, and I was asking L'Oreal's opinion. I said, L'Oreal, what do you think when you think of such and such person? And L'Oreal was like, I think that he's homosexual. 
And uh-huh. so I was giving this person some advice to management. And I was like, I think it would be really dope because he was a ball player if y'all came out with a line of jersey dresses. Mm. I wasn't even joking. Mm. I was being was dead cool. ass serious. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And so Wax goes to L'Oreal and tells L'Oreal. Uh-huh. I was right there. Don't let her talk about you like that. <laughs> no, because the girl oh. said, Pitch out of here. She did not do that. that. She you know what I'm that. saying? She <laughs> did. She was like, like she did not do get the fuck out of here. Like, bitch, That's got out of here. I was I'm like, damn, I was standing right there. That never happened. Mm. That never happened. L'Oreal had already walked off. <laughs> no, Whack walked, walked off. Right L'Oreal right came back walking like this. <laughs> Who the fuck you calling a bitch? And I'm sitting there like, yo, L'Oreal, what's up? Yo, what's going on here? Like, what's happening? And I'm like, yo, come on, L'Oreal, let's go over here. I'm like, Apolo- yo, apologies to you, whatever, whatever. <laughs> and then Wax gonna get in the car talking about he was playing. No, you told me to say... <laughs> Charlamagne is plays oh, this no, so I much. I told Wax to tell her he was playing. Because she was wild. Because she was ready to go, was ready to fuck this lady no. up. So I don't know if they're going to oh, see each other No, again. no, no, no. It, it was after that. L'Oreal was going crazy, making U-turns all crazy. Like, we was wild and skidded down and the Loria block. And I see that bitch next time, I'm slapping the shit out of her, whatever, whatever. Wax, tell you playing, man. No, 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 no. Tell you was playing, no. man. She's talking about, yo, I was about to fight this bitch. You was about to fight Buster and all this other type of shit. And I'm over here like. It was a wild night. You was about what to fight the, That was the same night? Same the, the, night. All, it all same happened party. that same <laughs> night, the same party. <laughs> No, no, no she, kicked that, she kicked us she out. She, she, she stole wax, I'm going to spin on you. But why y'all about to fight Buster? I, I was, yeah. was not about to fight Buster. Buster yeah. approached me and we was drunk. I was drunk. And I <laughs> said something. To Buster. He's an icon. I said something crazy. All day. And, you know, it just got stupid for no damn Buster reason. almost beat my ass one night, too. <laughs> yeah, it was the, the first Deontay Wilder fight. What happened? Um, I, I, um, we, I was hosting a fashion show, and I ain't know Buster Rhymes was in front of me and whatnot while I was I was behind him. And I'm like, who is this nigga with these goddamn sausages on the back of his neck? <laughs> <laughs> he was with his wife and everything. Like, oh, shit, it's Buster. Oh, sorry. Put your hands on my eyes can see. <laughs> <laughs> And oh, uh, so fast forward like a month later. Buster gonna bark on you too. Yeah, he, he ain't gotta worry about there. that. He didn't say nothing there. I, so I thought it was cool. Yeah. I posted it up because somebody caught it and I put it on my Instagram and whatnot. And um uh, I, I seen him at um this after party this, uh for the De- Deontay Wilder fight, and I'm walking around the corner and this nigga grabs me and posts me up against the wall. He said, Hey, yo, son, let me tell you something, bro. My wife was there, I don't be playing all that joking shit. You lucky I think you cool. And da 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 da. I said, Buster, you know I was just playing with you. You know we've been friends for like this. Now, you never talked to me like I was just playing. Oh, so you with knew you. him prior to making a joke? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay <laughs> so okay. I didn't know he said, well, hey, don't tell nobody about this. Let me buy you a drink. Like, oh. Okay. So you, now you just tell everybody on the podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he bought me a shot of Hennessy. A shot of Hennessy? A, 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 a shot. A hint of Hennessy. Yeah, Hennessy. yeah. We toasted up. <laughs> this was three years ago. We, we super cool now. Oh, that was three years ago. Yeah, yeah three, four, about 17, 2017. I ain't got number of Right after my yeah. divorce yeah. and everything. Yeah, recent recent story. Yeah, you your, your shit recent. My shit is like yeah. this was eight, nine years At least. Ago, you know what I mean? Yeah. I got nothing but respect for Buster. That shit shouldn't even happen. Great guy. Hey, nah, he's a great guy, but he will get on your ass. 100%. We ain't even got to worry about that. That rah rah like a dungeon dragon shit is it. real. It's real. He's <laughs> coming that to see you. That shit is yeah. real. He did the same thing. He walked in. He went to my man Boo. Salute the Boo. He was like, and Boo was like, Nah, I think you might y'all, y'all might need to talk. You ain't gonna. I don't think he gonna. You ain't gonna go over there and just scream. Right, right. And he was, that's what it was. He was like, I'm talking to you for a second. But then it turned into the rah, rah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, you know, it just got, it was just stupid for no reason. I was on it. I was like, I almost got my ass whooped. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I be feeling too, though. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because you expect certain things from certain people. Yeah. You expect Beanie Siegel to bark on you. Yeah, like yeah. You said something wild yeah. about Beanie. Mm-hmm. When Fredro did that to me back in the yeah. day, that's Onyx. That's slam. Yeah. Throw your guns in there. Yeah. I yeah. expect something yes. like that. You ain't nothing worse yeah. than a bitch ass nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I expect that. Uh-huh. Certain things you I appreciate that too. You know too. what I mean? It's the ones you don't expect that you be like, oh. That's how I felt about the 2 chain thing. Like, oh man, what the fuck is going on That right was now? why I ain't never heard 2 chains that yeah, I Yeah, I've never heard him talk to nobody like what that. What was he mad, what's so mad about? It was an interview that we did a long time ago, uh, right when we right around him getting come, came out and whatnot. And I was like, what's the difference between 2 chains then and Titty Boy uh, 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 now? And uh, he was like, I joined the Illuminati. And whatnot, and I was like, we both bust out laughing about it and whatnot, and you know, they this is fifty titled the shit, 
Two Chains admits to joining the Illuminati. Oh Lord! And so he, he, I'm disses fifty. <laughs> I'm so I'm not Jack Thriller no more. I'm disses fifty. The nigga from disses fifty, I'm gonna whoop his ass when I see him. All Lord that have mercy. Yeah. And so when he had uh, said that, I had got gangster too, and said, "Well, I'm gonna beat your ass then." And, and then, didn't even mean it. I didn't mean it. I was just. <laughs> It just sound like the right thing to say because it was too many people around, you know, saying, nigga, you with G-Unit and da-da-da-da. And I was like, yeah, I am with G-Unit and da-da-da-da. Oh, yeah. Wow. And See, we don't talk about that's stuff like that enough. Complex. Yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean, break that Hold down? On, Tupac was hard for real. Hold on, break that down. What's the Tupac? Well, you know what? I don't know. I wasn't even alive then. But from the stories I've like heard and from things I've seen, Tupac got with Death Row, but he wasn't really on that game banging time. No, nah, he was on that type of time because remember he shot. He, he shot, shot the two cops. Okay, yeah. he spit he, at cameras. He shot the police, but he wasn't stumping out people in casinos. Like nah, I think he Pac was doing it off camera. camera. Nah, yeah, yeah, Pac was doing that. Yeah, Pac, he, he put hands on the Hughes brothers. One hundred percent. Now, did Death Row probably escalate it? It escalated. Okay. Yes. Yeah, back okay, up then. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but he was Pac way before Pop. 100 yeah. but you said something so true about when people are around man yeah, yeah, yeah i'm telling you that's why the things that you should be afraid of is when a person pulls you to the side when it's really? just you and them yeah, yeah. when ain't respect. nobody around yeah. and you just yeah. this person see you like me how at you for a second yeah mm -hmm. that's when you might that's be the, that's shit. when you get the real yeah. you mm -hmm. that's right that's you get the it. real you right there yeah you might piss in your pants 100 and not, not, it wasn't that i was scared or anything i just forgot i was a comic i'm a comedian with one eye <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, don't, I can't afford for a nigga to take this one out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and nigga be on my blind side and shit. I, I don't need that. Did you apologize yeah. to Two Chains? I apologize several times. I said verbal arrangement, <laughs> all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to be the nigga friend. Every and when I was trying to be mad at him, I, I kept on dating women that love his music and shit. And <laughs> be playing that shit all the time. Hey, 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 hey cut that shit off. He gonna kill all of us if he's right here right now. He'll beat your ass and my ass. Why uh, the fuck you like this nigga still? Uh, Oh, man. It was too much. It was too much. And then on top of that, I couldn't be as upset as he was and, and uh, with, with that much energy yeah. to fight. You don't want to fight a nigga that, that and you not mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do you yeah, do you yeah. don't yeah. want to fight a nigga that's all the way on 100 and you like, yeah. all right, man, if you want to do this. Let's it's like, it's like fucking no. somebody's wife. You especially know you ain't supposed you, to get mad. That's right. And especially when you know you were wrong. Yeah, I yeah was you wrong. wrong. That's the problem. Man. I was so wrong. I was so immature. Wow. Just, you know what I'm saying? I was just on a different type of time and um, I didn't think it would go that far. I thought I was just gonna catch the easy W. I kept on antagonizing him on the red carpets, saying wild, crazy stuff, making people laugh at him and shit. And mm -hmm. Yeah, I was doing too much. See, that's what I. That's the only thing I hate about this era that we in, because it really yeah. is high school, mm -hmm. to where we're all just trying to entertain the people that's, that's what watching. We doing. I was just playing. That can get you fucked it's up. It's gonna get you all the way fucked up. Yeah. Then what? Now you got it. Now you really want to entertain? Watch this video. You getting your ass kicked? <laughs> and this shit funny. Really I'm, 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 <laughs> I got lucky enough to never get my ass whooped. Shit, I done got Lord. punched on camera. I done got punched on camera. I done had to fight. We, it happens. I, 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 I only got my ass whooped um, in an actual fight. Or what it was with a boxing match that I did that time. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, Who I fought a real BX Fight Club fighter. Not as it wasn't a celebrity match. I forgot about that. that. I was trying to prove how hard that I was. Like, if anybody ever wanted to whoop my ass, let me show you how good I can fight. And I fight good for a good 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah, and that's, that's all you got it. It, it, yeah, that's all you got. Mother three rounds. Did he knock you out? No, he knocked me out. I, I, I gave up. I remember up. he knocked you down. No, he, he, I fell down. You fell? I, 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 I kept on falling. <laughs> I kept on falling. I wasn't, I didn't, I, I was, I had a, I, I trained for two hours. I was tired. I had a, uh, yeah. I had a slice of I, I, I came one night for you. You gave me a call. I was like, yeah. I don't do this, but Jack, I, I got you, man. Make sure. Oh, yeah. That, that, he, he had to come beat my back up one night. What happened? Um, When we was, uh, I went to this, this place where Ja Rule was going to be. And um, it was a it was a reality show. They were shooting growing up hip hop. <laughs> trying to whoop Jack ass. They was trying to whoop my ass. <laughs> yeah, they was trying to set me up. All right, man. What uh, man, because of the fifty cent shit. What you mean? Oh, just because you on this? Just because that's it. <laughs> I inherited an ass whooping. What year was this? This was um uh what's it two two years two ago? Years ago God like, damn, yeah. Murder Inc. still beating up people. <laughs> 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 they they wanted Jack ass man for the low. No, <laughs> <laughs> the ass whooping is on clearance, man. I think that might have been in your head, bro. No, 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 no right. they came. It was in his they head came. Too. What happened? They came. I was like, this is my cousin. It was like, 
Damn. All right. What's up, man? Who was it? His ass. It was them. It was them. It was Jaja. It was the people on TV. It was definitely the ones on TV. And listen, they end up whooping somebody's ass during that time. I got a jacket. Get me out. Yeah, as soon as we walked out, they whooped somebody else. They whooping somebody's ass. That might not look good for me. God damn. I donated my ass whooping to somebody else. Listen, and listen, they was trying to get Jack so Jack can get fucked up by 50 because they was like, nah, Jack, come take a picture with us. I'm like, nah, come on. I ain't, I ain't doing him like that. Oh, oh It's my cousin, oh. man. Chill the fuck God out, man. damn. They about to do you dirty. Bernard Hank ain't sending no healing energy to nobody. <laughs> Did you tell 50 that? No. I wasn't I was even wanting him to know I was even at the same place <laughs> with a nigga like that. <laughs> <laughs> was like, I, we, we was a secret. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm crazy, sorry, man. Jack. Man, man, the today. 50 God, like, yo, Jack, damn. you said what? <laughs> yeah. Why was you there? I, I earned that ass with Lord have mercy. Yeah. All right, let's take a break for a second, man. Uh, and then we'll come back and do some of the trending topics of the week. Uh, Blue Chew. Salute to Blue Chew, man. Fall is here, and we could all use a stiff breeze. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. All right? That's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at Blue Chew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescriptions within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package, all right? So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay for $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com promo code idiots to receive your first month free. Now, today's episode is also brought to you by Talkspace. I'm going to get Jack Thriller some Talkspace because I feel like Jack Thriller might need it. Jack, have you ever sat down with a therapist? Um, no, I'm dying to. You really? 100%. Okay, Talkspace might be a good entry point because Talkspace makes it possible to speak with a licensed therapist right from your phone, tablet, or computer. And unlike traditional therapy, you can message your therapist anytime via text, video, or voice. It's 100% secure and stigma-free the way therapy should be. Now, at Talkspace, your privacy and security are their number one priority. The app puts you in a private room with just you and your therapist. Send messages 24-7 and get replies throughout the day. No need to wait for a weekly appointment. Talkspace's encryption and added security features keep your conversation fully protected. Whether you struggle with anxiety, depression, self-doubt, or anything else, Talkspace gives you access to the help you need to move forward. Getting professional help isn't weird or weak. It's smart because, sure, your friend might know a thing or two about electricity, but would you let him rewire your house? So don't leave your mental health to chance or the amateur advice of well-meaning friends and family. Talk to someone who's trained to help you make lasting progress. Join Talkspace today and start moving forward with a single message just visit Talkspace.com and get $100 off your first month when you use promo code IDIOTS at sign up that's $100 off at Talkspace.com promo code IDIOTS let's get back to the show now I want to ask y'all do y'all really think Boosie has a problem with Little Nas X serious question mm, no. I don't think so. why no. you say that and why LA Cause at this point, it's just something to talk about. Yes. Yeah. It feels like what we were just discussing when you know people are watching and you want to entertain people. Yeah. And I saw what Little Nas X did this week and it, it made me understand Little Nas X gets it. Because he knows he's just entertaining people. Mm, yeah. Industry Baby just went number one, mm. right? But, you know, people weren't necessarily talking about Lil Nas the yeah. way they were a few weeks ago. You know what I mean? The icing on the cake. It's like, let me get on social media and rile the people up a little uh -huh. bit. Me and Lil, me and Lil Boosie got a song coming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hi, everybody starts talks about it, whatever, whatever. And Boosie came back and entertained his crowd the way he entertains his crowd. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I don't think it's really a thing there. Yeah. No, not at all. If, if he, he even if he when came, they ever going to be in the same place? Even if they was, like I see him with Flame, I don't think he have a problem with uh, him. Even if Lil Nas X came that day, I don't think he would have had a problem with him. Yeah, I think the problem is with the rhetoric, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you should never tell somebody to kill themselves well, under that's, any that's circumstances. How, that's how he talked, though. 
Yeah, but he didn't you know. He's not I, out of character. He's not out of Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Now, you know what? You're absolutely right. I, I can't expect from Lil Boosie what I, what I would expect no, from myself. But I, yeah. but I can tell the masses that are listening, that's not ever what you tell somebody. You know what I mean? Kill you, yourself. You, you used hey, to say hey. that, Charlemagne, a lot. We all did, but it was slang more so than anything. Yeah, but Charlemagne. That's probably what you, he's saying, too. You, your life is going inside of a whole nother direction. Very thank that God. Bo Bootsies is not going in. <laughs> he's, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's going yeah. down as a ghetto legend. Yeah. Oh, that, <laughs> you, you, you fix it to turn into the, the, the male Oprah. Yeah. I, but you know what it is? I just feel like when you're a healed. When you get to a place of healing, you hear things differently. Yes. You speak differently. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I so it's like for it. me, I would never tell anybody. I would never tell anybody to do anything that I wouldn't want done to me or I would, I would want my Anymore. loved one to experience. Yeah. I don't think I ever told nobody to kill themselves. I think mm. you have. I think it's definitely some some, uh, some of the some days. Some people need to, though. And, and, uh, now, I don't know I, if I've I'm ever... I'm with him on that one. Why what do you mean? Some people need to kill. I mean, I don't know. No, no, Before they, they kill somebody else and yeah. shit like that, you know no, what I mean? No, that's different. Or, no, no, that's different. Yeah, oh, that's I mean, different. that's what we talking about. No, I hope you don't see a guy down the street. Yeah, I hope you don't see a guy down the street like, I don't like his shoes, kill yourself. Like, I hope that's not what it no, is. No, I say all the time when it comes to mass shooters, uh -huh. before you open fire and take out 10 or 15 people, it's yourself God up, forbid, bro. I would rather you do that to yourself. Before you yeah. touch I'm you not mess wishing with a kid, it on you. do something to mm -hmm. bad to a kid, go do something to yourself, yes. man. Get out the way, yes. bro. Yes. I'm not wishing it on you, but if I, if I, if I had to think of a scenario, if you, before you take out 10 to 15 random people, mm -hmm. Mm. Just take the hurt out on yourself. One hundred. You know what I mean? Mm. That's that. But other, but just that. Just you know. Yeah, because you don't like the way you're going. Because you, 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 your sexuality. No, that's whack. Dang, you, people will not let you evolve. You over here like. You, I would never say that. You like that, but you used to. Why? You, I don't know if I did or not. That's the point. Because you, you, you're not that guy anymore. You, no, you don't even look like him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you look good. I don't know who the fuck you are. That's true. That's true. I remember some fuck shit I said. I don't think I ever did nothing that harsh, though. Oh, you went hard in the paint. Yeah, that's what yeah but I ain't never talking about it. Cause, cause, but, but also, we, we should acknowledge, kill yourself was slang. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah, we yeah. did plenty of stuff. Duval, kids. I think yeah. Duval started that. Yes, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, kill yourself. You nigga, die. Kill you yourself. I made a song, all that shit. You had a song? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how, that's how we used to end our skits off of. We'd kill yourself. Yes. On there, yeah. But it wasn't literal suicide. That's no. The, that's no, what people don't understand yeah. about culture, right? They don't yeah. understand about slang. Mm. It was a figurative, like, mm. man, kill yourself. You know what I mean? 100%. It yeah. wasn't literal, like, well, I want you to go home, put a gun in your mouth, blow your brain. That yeah. did not yeah. age well, man. No, it did not. Mm. And this generation takes everything so literal. That's the problem. That's right. They don't know what's real from entertainment. But you know what? You know what the problem is? is Charlamagne, I, I, I ain't going to even front. It, you kind of the problem with that, too. Break it down. Let's talk about it. Well, I like, you I like know, these conversations. This, when you when you had to um, help the whole a uh, mental illness movement go on. Now it's a label on crazy. Back in the day, people just used to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But now, anytime somebody do some bullshit, uh, he mentally ill. He mentally yeah. ill. And you no, gotta leave him I alone. Thought that. You gotta leave him alone. I e even in that. the house, like even like people, girlfriends and stuff like that, they're like, oh, I'm having a breakdown or you gotta leave me alone right now. You gotta shut up because she said it. Well, but think about it. Back in the day, people used to commit heinous crimes, mass murders mm. and stuff like that. And then, <laughs> but it wasn't, it wasn't then, crazy. But no, the lawyer would say, hey, he's dealing with some mental health issues. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? He gotta have a psychological evaluation. But it wasn't enough for that was just him doing that. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't a, like a polarizing thing where it was everywhere. Everybody blaming everything on mental illness. Yeah, but it probably it's great. the thing though. It probably is. No, it not probably. It is. Yeah, no, it definitely is. It definitely is. But I, it doesn't allow you to be man up. I had a lot of mental illness, but we did it. I had to walk it off. Yeah. No, that's not true. I had to walk it off. No, you don't. I can't get away no, with don't. shit, bro. That's, I don't give a fuck what you I say. I got. That's not true. That's not true. But listen, y'all don't have to walk it off. Y'all can deal with it. You know I what I mean? Like we understand, man, but dealing the man with up part though. I mean, there, but a, you, it's there's consequences. There's a thin line between it. There's a there's a thin line. Like it's a very thin we got to go through the do, consequence. People take advantage. do got to take accountability of 100%. their actions. percent. But then on uh -huh. the other side, like I think emotionally, people don't get treated for. We're it. talking about two different things, right? Like for example, salute to the, the OG Snoop Dogg, the icon living. Snoop on Breakfast Club this morning, and you know, clearly grieving the the, the, the passing of his mother. Right? And Snoop Snoop says uh, he makes a comment. He just was like. You know, I just got to be strong. You know what I'm saying? You know, even though I'm going through it, I can't be weak. You know, I can't cry. There's nothing weak about grieving. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. There's nothing weak that. about crying. That's your mom. Mm. You know what I mean? Peace. If it's anybody that you love, there's nothing weak about that. So when we tell people to man up, all we're telling them to do is suppress their no, emotions. No, no, no. It's, That's not cer- good. On certain things, though, you got to man up. You know you did something wrong. You don't, oh, I got anxiety. No, these are consequences behind that, but now you're trying to, you're trying to mask it with the fucking the bullshit. Scary. It depends what it is, though. Because, if, and don't get me wrong, I think we're saying man up, but that's not the right term because you're going to have to deal with the consequences of your actions regardless of you man up or not. Mm, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You go kill two people. It don't matter how much of a man you are. You're mm. going to jail. Mm. And you're gonna be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you're going to be in that courtroom. Mm. And you're going to be in front of that judge. You can cry in front of that judge or you can act tough in front of that judge. But what if you, you, you take a shit? That you act like you're taking the shit and eat your doodle. They're going to put you somewhere else. They're not going to make you go to jail. That, no, they're not. That's a. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're going to say mental illness. No, that is, that's the, insti- the mental institution. <laughs> well, guess what? If you eat your doodle, you probably do need to be in some type of institution. But guess what? They're still going to send you to jail. They're just going to give you therapy in jail. You're just going to be seeing a psychiatrist in jail. No, they going to shoot you with shit and testing you. Well, you shouldn't eat your shit. You're playing around. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Man. You Try not to go to prison. Why would you so, play around like so that? So let me ask you this. Charlamagne, what's the line? Talk when is it, it? When are we going too far? When can you not blame it on mental illness? I think that being that we have a better understanding of it now mm. and people have the language now mm. and they know what they're dealing with, I think you're going to see a lot more of it simply because people feel comfortable talking about it. Mm. And everything got a root cause. We're acting like people just do things. Mm. Nobody just does things. Mm. I can look at somebody and tell, oh yeah, that, that person dealing with something. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Uh, when they say, uh, be nice to everybody you meet because you don't know what somebody's going through. Like it's a reason no, for real. you might bump into one person and that person be like, oh yo, you good? Mm. You might bump into somebody and that person say to you, oh, yo, you good, yo? Uh-huh. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, excuse me, keep it moving. But you might bump into somebody by accident that person might pull out a gun and shoot you. 100%. Like, what the no, fuck wrong with him? Because this person has been, he's de- he or she is dealing with something internally that we have no idea about. Mm. Right. So you got to go and pack that shit, All right, So man. what about cheating, though? It's like, yo, say if you learn from back in the day that you had a you had to have a bunch of girls and now you getting caught by your girl cheating all the time what do you do you you that's have trauma. that re- no that is trauma you had that that's a great by the way that should sound funny but it's a great example because i remember confronting my dad about cheating on my mom and my dad looked me in my mm. eyes and said oh you only got one girlfriend mm. and so from that point on i'm thinking like damn yeah. having one girlfriend is fucked Comedy, up yeah i pops pops look at me like I'm Everybody sorry for do. something because I got one do. girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now, because men have egos, mm. we got to yeah. feed our egos by running around sleeping with a bunch of different, because oh. you know, women. A bunch of different women act as therapists. You know what I'm saying? You Break need something different <laughs> from each one of them that you're not getting at the house. Yeah. You don't think you, you can like get something different from every nigga that you fuck with too? Yeah. yeah. Funny, though. Say it again. Yes, uh, STD. Yes. You can have yes. a nigga that got money. You can got. You can have a nigga for emotional support. But you can get you them. Let them come inside of you. No, I'm yeah. not. You don't gotta you, fuck these niggas. But I'm just saying. Either way, what you're about to say doesn't make it right. That's what I'm just trying to say. Nah, let's stop lying. You no, know that good. Well, you no, 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 no. You're right say. about that. But I'm talking about when you say you don't have to sleep with these men. Maybe you don't, but you know these men have the expectation. Oh no, yeah, they do. So why don't play with them? Don't play with them. Don't don't play with them no more. Don't take my money. <laughs> don't make me pay your tuition. Don't don't don't, don't, offer, it, don't, don't offer it. Like you smoke you're, you're not entitled to anything if you offer right. it. Something. Nile, right? Nile, won't, won't, you just, won't you just say so it can be some balance? Because I think that's a form of mental illness. Also, when you are <laughs> dating motherfuckers you don't like, <laughs> yes, shoot it. You trying to get something out of your goddamn mind? Hanging out for a meal. Hanging out for a meal. No, you're right. You, no, you, you're, you're no, right. he's not right. He is no, right. you're not right. You're taking right. advantage of person. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely taking advantage of because you and, know you don't like this. Oh, but man. you guys don't do that shit. with women? No, y'all don't, y'all we don't pay fuck for on shit women and, and we, give them expectations that I possibly might date you or, you know, we're going to be the... We gonna be together eventually. You keep doing y'all don't what do I, that. You keep doing what I say. Don't do that. You it's don't gonna have be to on. stop and give him the you eyes. You keep doing what I say. Because it's gonna be on. You know, y'all, no, don't do no, no, no. When, when you get more out of it, y'all niggas, y'all niggas change like the seasons. You're right. Like y'all y'all change like the season. But y'all, y'all change Nala every right. month with but y'all period. No, no, Nala's wrong. Because let me tell you something. If you if you go ahead and you if you listen to the guy that you really want and whatnot, the cream rises to the top. If you the last woman standing. You're going to be all right. But if you keep on going against yeah, the Yeah, but what the fuck? You want me to... This is not no competition. Put up my with niggas. my like, shit. It, Put up with no. your shit. Put up with my no. shit. No. Whoever no. can no. last. No. Topic, no. no, that's, that's this the is one. Competition. No. This is no. your competition. This is gladiator. No. No. Why, why am I going to be fuck? with you when we never no. went through no. nothing together? No. Come because on. Because y'all... Y'all are great. That, y'all are kings, right? All times be a character. 
Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Y'all are kings, when but y'all going. are not the prize. Mm. Like, the woman is the prize. Yeah, she's that's the next. She holds it up. That's the next a, holds it up. So the fact that you guys are like the, the cream rises to the top, whoever lasts, like, no, nigga, I'm not about to be competing and waiting and this and that. It's either you're going to come ready and wanting me or you're not. Like, I, I feel like I'm the baddest bitch in my relationship. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to See, but here's the thing. That's the problem. I don't think that it should be a competition. Yeah. I think that it should be two people who come together. It's mm-hmm. like it's like soil and seed. Right. Mm-hmm. right. You know what I mean? It should be soil and seed. Soil and seed come together to to make something amazing. Something amazing grows mm-hmm. from it and it bears fruit. Mm-hmm. They they're equal. But like that's, it, and by the way, that's what it really thing, is. But is it such thing of a bad seed though and bad fruit? Well, pick better fruit. Pick That's what we're trying to tell you. Stop being out here being nasty with all these oh, motherfuckers. Oh, 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 yeah. the right fruit. Let him go on. You don't have the right fruit. You don't have the right to say that. Why? Because I used to be one of them, so I do have the right. Because I, I want the no, drunk no. guy what? talking to me. You know why Wax don't have the right? Why? Tell me why he don't why have the right. Wax has slept with women that look like you, Jack Thriller. <laughs> no. <laughs> So you don't have the right to talk about you out here just sleeping with any old body and doing X, Y, and Z. Nobody look like Jack. Nobody look like Jack. Somebody what? look like Jack, yo. Jack is the baddest bitch out here. You forgot. That's right. That's right. No. That's right. No. That's right. Come on, send that healing energy over here. That's right. Send that healing right. energy over I here. That's right. Tell you the truth, though. Where? All I, I'm I, saying, I don't want to know. All I'm saying is, you done, you, done, you done slept with some women that you probably regret sleeping with. Just from a physical standpoint. Bro, oh, understand that. So you can't, you, can't judge another, you can't judge a girl and say, you out here doing X, Y, and Z with this person? Oh, listen. Yeah, All I'm saying is we got to stop judging each other. And if you're going to be with a woman, Y'all been judging if you're going to be with a man, no, no, y'all using me examples and shit. Come together on an equal plane. Like, why, why can't y'all be here? I five seeds in her dirt. Yeah. Well, what about you putting your seed in five different dirts? Right. I'm a piece of shit. What? Call me a piece of shit. I'll be that. Okay. Are you, are you a piece I'm of shit? I'm not a piece when, of shit. Then you, Which, then by the you way, right I just don't like that you keep pointing at me with it. Like, I am not dealing with nobody right, right now. Jack, Jack right always get me in trouble for, I can't even be Jack friends sometimes. Yeah, that was some bullshit. Because Jack Instagram goes crazy. So my girl's like, oh, this is your friend. This is, I'm like, I don't know what Jack does. She tried, to, she tried to come in between us. But that's true though. <laughs> that was some bullshit. By the way, you got to be around friends that are mm-hmm. on the same vibe. You yeah. know what I mean? We roommates and everything. And yeah. she said I could move in with him. That would have been the stupidest Jack roommate moved, ever. And Jack is moving in That would have been a lot. <laughs> that would have been a lot. That, that, that would have been a lot. That, that's she bad. said, this is who you had. And I was like, Jack, mm-hmm. chill out with the fucking Instagram Yo, shit. Yeah, I feel like I got like to do sometimes, man. It just be a lot on my timeline. What? Yeah. How does Lily feel about that, Jack? Oh, and she, I stopped all that bullshit. There you go. Yeah, but that's what happens yeah, when you, you get a girl. When you yeah, get a woman, that's, that's what happens. Yeah. Yeah, when you yeah. meet somebody that make you want to be That's what I'm talking about. That's why I don't do shit no more. I switch my whole shit up. Yeah. Bro, I told you no. I was like, I can't do it. That was some bullshit. Like the way you When you find somebody. You don't tell a nigga today he about to move, though. What kind of shit was she that? She told me no. I, I thought she was going to change her mind. She said no. Nigga, I ain't have nowhere to go. <laughs> Where was y'all going to work out together? Man, the penthouse, man. Oh, like, you know, man, Carly I was looking so forward there. I was going to bring all the hoes. Why you just that, let that Jack was the problem. There? You wasn't even living in there. Why you let Jack stay there by herself? I was, but she still... You was not living in there. I was. I, had, I was just moving around, but just Jack getting the key with all them hoes. She knew they was going to be there. I don't think she do. When everything I think about Jack, she think about the ass on his page. Yeah. It's a lot. I didn't know you felt that way. I, I told you. you. I think y'all are too old for this, man. Yeah, one hundred percent. We done. We done. We definitely done. We definitely done. Yeah. Like, let no it way. go. Like, it's good yeah, to be 100%. with one woman, man. Like, it's it's good to be with one woman. Put all your energy into one woman and build 100%. an empire, man. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Find that's what we had. Now. I also made a post like that the other day. What was it about? It was like Mark Zuckerberg with his uh the Chinese lady, and they said one of the secrets to his success um is because he focused on one woman. That's right. That's yeah. right. And that's how I became a billionaire. I, I thought I, I that energy. Mm-hmm. I thought I was successful mm. eight years ago. Mm. No. When I devoted all my energy to my wife mm. and stopped mm. running around in these streets mm. yeah, and you know, started yeah, going I'm to therapy mm. and all that other stuff. Like I tell yeah. people, God, black women in therapy is the key to all my success. Yeah. I just think it's really just, just a trifling though, just to cheat with kids. Like if y'all got kids together, that shit I never understood yeah, that. It always shit. made me feel bad. That's like that's like playing a two on two basketball. I mean, she, in general, no, she didn't, I don't see the difference. Okay cheating in general, it don't even got nothing to do with the kid. Nah, it's it's no, 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 no. It's no. huge. It I, get what, it's I get what Jack's saying. It does. It does. Go ahead, go ahead. Now. Cheating in general is is wrong. Yeah. And yeah, then but, you have a kid, you're just even more wrong. Especially when you know, like, if you live with your family mm-hmm. and you got your kids at home, you know. Especially when you got young kids. Young kids wake up in the middle of the night. You know mm. what I mean? And it's nothing more fulfilling than being the person that can go in the room and see what's going on, blah, mm. blah, blah. Mm. But if you just laid up with another chick, 
You know what I mean? Oh my How god! How would you feel knowing oh, that she at the house man. with the kid? I can't oh, do it. Oh, when the kid when they call you and the first thing in the morning because you yeah. out of town and the kids mm -hmm. on the way to school mm -hmm. and you still laid up with this young lady. Yeah, oh yeah. man! Nah, good. I'm glad right. y'all feel guilty. Yeah, because yeah. I was well, I was laying next to this girl and she her uh, her kids was calling and then her the husband and all that and I was like, why are you doing this? Her husband? Yeah. It was just <laughs> why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I had yeah. lost so much respect. Yeah, I lose respect for him too. I hate it. <laughs> Like any girl who cheat with me or and he got a man, I can't stand you. I yeah. really don't like you. Hey, that's a good point, so why man. Are you doing that's it? disgusting. For no reason. For no, yeah, just toxic. Yo, I'm glad y'all said that because I be trying to tell women that there's no get back. No. You know what I mean? If your man do you dirty and you still with that man and then you go fuck another dude, that dude, it's no get back. That dude nah. looking at you like you just a straight nasty. Yeah, now, like, now, now, that's why now, I don't now, trust now, now, women. Now, now, now you took me off the hook. No, now wait, the but hook. what way is the get back then? There should be no, no get be, back. Being a good woman and making me feel the pain that I did you wrong. Why you want to see me fall? That's the mm. pain. Mm. No, I don't want to see mm. you fall. I just want to see you feel it. I'm still in. Why? That's feeling it. over the knowledge. He'll feel it in the future. He'll feel it in the future when you continue to be successful. Yes. When you continue to be successful and he got to see you everywhere and you look fly and you ain't out here looking whack. He's like, damn, wrong. I fucked up. You told me the other day somebody tried to get a hug. This is true. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is true. Ex tried to get a hug. How you felt after that? How did you feel? I was disgusted when I ran. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> she gave him the Heisman. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I guarantee you that hurts him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, that's all. You get the get back. And by the way, it should be like so that. So we have to wait years for the get back. It don't right? matter. No, don't you don't matter. get back. You it's don't satisfying. get back. You, you, you get even. Getting even means not revenge. It's like getting on people's level. And just doing better. There's no such thing. See, but that's why it's kind of unfair to women because it's like you guys can literally go out, do something, and it hurts us instantly. So you think getting another meat is no, going to help? No, I didn't say that that was the key to doing. I, I was asking him, like, what is the level? What's the making it even? Like, what's the there eye for eye in that? You shouldn't be trying to do an eye for eye. No way. If no, if, definitely. If, 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 <laughs> <laughs> then it's fun you can't see. <laughs> if, any, if anybody does you dirty... That's on them. Yes. Yeah. When somebody does you dirty, send them yes. healing energy, man. Because guess what? They lost out on the real one. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's how I feel. Like, you lost out on the real one. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not tripping. God mm -hmm. bless you. I send you healing energy. You 100%. lost out. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, and, and it's, it's like confusing when a woman calls you after she breaks up with that guy that she cheated on you with and expecting you to yeah, like right. step up. You like the exact you, you, same you thing to me. me. Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you suck. That's your I, character. Dick. I also yeah. never been that guy that can be that. Like, I had that habit. I had a. Way, way back in the day, way back, that was when I was working with Wendy and a young lady came over, we got it in. And you know, when she left, she was like, I'm going home to my, my, my husband. I'm like, your husband? Ew, you disgusting. A, you are I'm disgusting. Not a husband. <laughs> I can't what believe is, her. Did you just use you me? felt like, like a toy. <laughs> I did, that ain't a good feeling. No, it's not a good I'm feeling. I'm a cancer, I like yeah. intimacy. Yeah. I want yeah. you, at least act like you I like me. Kiss all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, I was happy when they left. Not, not me, I, I, I was just, like, I just hated having sex with a woman who had, who was in like, Real committed relationship. This man was really t holding you down, taking care of you, and you yeah. over here smashing mm. me for what? Yeah. yeah, you dirty bitch. You I so don't like disgusting. that. Now we sound stupid. What? You smashing her too? I was a piece of shit. So why the fuck you come over here with this shit? I didn't want to jack off. So why are you judging? I didn't want to jack off. I'm not I judging her. I'm saying you should do better. Jacking Stay off with your man. Judging. man. You're judging a woman for doing it. By the way, it takes two. That's what we fail to realize in mm. all of this. That's mm. why we always got to look at this as equal partnerships. Mm. Yeah. It takes two. You can't sleep with a married woman and say, man, you a piece of shit. Yeah. You a piece of shit too. I was. That's, That's why true. I stopped. That's you know true. what I'm saying? You don't expect no fucking married woman no more. Them days have been over. All I'm simply saying is all of this is equal partnerships. We all, as men and women, have to look at this shit as seed and soil. It There's ain't no competition. Men, what do you mean? There's more women than what men, so that? they got... They gotta so, take so, more of the blame. Y'all can, can talk to each other. Hey, women don't hold women other. accountable. No way. No Break way. it down. What you no, mean by that? They, they like, like, oh, you suck that dick, girl. Mm. You, the slut what? shaming and all that other stuff. And <laughs> they like this like shit is stupid. That dick. Remember when, uh, when women used to be shamed of being a slut? Now it's a thing to be praised now. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And it's so stupid. It's I hate not, it. It's not being a slut that's being praised. It's doing what makes you happy is being praised because niggas do the same shit. That's what I'm True. saying. Yeah, so trying to be like way, us. No, what do we so, do? That's listen, the same listen, shit listen, as being listen. a slut. When you, the, fir the first fucking we 15 never did minutes the fuck of the these podcast, the first 15 minutes of the podcast, you came and said, yo, I shot my shot with her. I shot my shot with her. I shot my shot with her. You trying to fuck all these girls. No, I was trying to find a partnership with all of these. You wasn't trying to find no goddamn partnership. If you, if you came on the podcast and did what Jack did, they'd be on the Instagram like, oh, look, now it's a little thot. Literally. Yeah, she, now it's a little oh, thot. That's the truth, though. Damn, that's, that's the, the truth. truth. If, 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 if you right did that. No, I'm saying, if you if you if she did what you did. Okay, that's what I did. Jack was a fucking whore. Yeah, but and I can I got I'm accountable for that. Me too. Okay, one hundred percent. 
I'm not mad at that. I was ridiculous. I, Me as too. As long Y'all as we that. can admit that. As long as we but can admit if you, that. But if girls be lying, talking about, I ain't no fucking whore. I don't suck no dick. What That's are you talking the, about? Yeah, because I, I just want to know if you really is a hoe. Say that off the rip so I can tell me how much it costs. Yeah. Tell me how much it costs. <laughs> All right, so wait, wait, to... wait, 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 wait. Okay, another question. So both of y'all are former, well, I don't know, but y'all are former hoes. Yeah. Whores. I've been with him for how long? I prefer, so, the, word ho- I prefer okay. the word whore. Give I it to him, ho- too. Because yeah. I'm in a relationship, too. I wasn't a whore. I, so, was, I wasn't a whore. I just was a bad boyfriend because I was cheating on a beautiful woman who I love, and I'm glad that. Mm-hmm. All right, and that was worse than me. Yeah, yeah. I, had I, I love y'all girls. Y'all girls are great. But if y'all were former <laughs> whores, right? Yes. Why can y'all not settle down with a girl who lived just like y'all did? I don't think that's a problem. I don't think that's a problem. Either. Yeah, for me, oh. it is. Because you know, for, no. for me, uh, I, I had this conversation with you because with I have too many, out. and I do not want her to get ran through like that because she so got too got many emotions. Through. I didn't get ran you through. Got ran through. Got I was ran running on. through. You got ran through. No, got I ran was on. running through. No, you got ran through. It's a difference. It's you the hallway way or I was running through shit. <laughs> yeah, definitely got ran through. You ran you, well, you got ran through. I ain't never get ran you through. You got ran through. And I was running through shit. It's a difference. No, you got ran through. How I get ran through? I know some girls that, that talk about you like they ran, ran through, through you. me. When when when, when, when <laughs> Shorty show me like, when Shorty show me that picture you giving her head, I was like, yo, God bro, damn. I was in a relationship. Ew, Doing baby, dirty. I, this is, I told her you, and I told her I said, do that nigga dirty. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hold on, let me ask you something real quick. Swear to God, so I don't get in trouble. I don't swear to God. You yeah, know that's it. There you go, baby. Four more whores can't date other four more whores. I don't want that. It's now, ridiculous. I can do that, but I just need to know. That you was a hoe. Okay. Because I had this situation before. Respect like you. When okay. I, I was with this woman, and um, I can't say who it is, but we end up getting a divorce. But anyway, she had all these people on her hit list. <laughs> and I didn't find out until we were married. And it just really bugged my head. God, I had all these niggas' numbers in my phone. <laughs> but see, that's the thing, right? Uh, friends. But talking about that's the thing. It. I hate it. Because what, what if like you, you with a girl, and you know, you say you can't be with a former, you know, whore, what if you already grew to love her and then you find out she slept with like five people that you actually know? You know what that's doing? That's putting a fucking hole in my fucking tire. It's just a slow leak. It's going to eventually go down. I don't <laughs> think it's because of the guys. I think it's because she probably didn't tell you. I think if that she was too, up front from the beginning if she and let you me. know that makes sense if y'all grew to love each other, you yeah. wouldn't even trip. But you said you wouldn't accept it either no, way and that's a double standard. It all that's depends all on, it, don't, let me accept your flaws. Now with some dude, I don't think I'm going to ever be in the same room as, mm. you know what, I try you. But I might be in a room with one of these motherfuckers one day. But isn't that just some ego? I, see, I, I, I can't do it. But that's just ego. I got an ego. ego. Whatever ego's supposed to grow, I ain't got it then. Because that's what? bullshit. <laughs> I don't know how that ego shit works. It's a bird. What? <laughs> ego is a bird. What the fuck is she talking about? <laughs> Excuse me, young lady. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, whoa. What the fuck is going on today? Whoa. Jack Jules is right here. Whoa, Jack, whoa, whoa. I don't Not, think that's the case. There's only like one or two that I know about. But I don't be wanting to know. I don't be wanting to know. I don't want to know nobody's conquest. Don't tell me. We've been past that. We grown. Don't tell yeah. me who you're sleeping with. That's I'm, cool high school it, shit. I'm cool on that shit now. I'm, I'm super cool I'm on not. it now. Because it j- just evolving and being 39 years old now. I don't care who you're sleeping with. There's a bunch of shit I don't care about. Tell me who you in love with. Tell me yeah. who you thinking about yeah. marrying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Tell me who 100%. you think about proposing to. That's who I care about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. And by the way, I tell women that too. Because mm-hmm. I'm not going to say who... I didn't met too many of my homegirls' boyfriends. Stop mm. bringing these niggas around. Oh, mm. Lord. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Charlotte's definitely done meeting boyfriends. We get it. Me I too. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Don't, don't do it. shit, man. Don't do it. But I like getting for? approvals. Yeah, we get it, but just don't say it's my D- Does that really help, though, to introduce your, uh, your significant other to people that are your friends? No, we're going to check them out. Well, they no, the... because as men, y'all know other men. So you yeah, can tell this me if this is shit. like... If this is solid or not. Yo, but that, you know but what? If you can tell me you me though. that, but there's, there's something that you not looking at that I'm, I'm not saying. Tell me what the red flags are and I'll just tell you that. I don't have to see them. I need you to judge this off of your pure uh, feelings yeah, right, and whatnot yeah. because you can't really I judge that, somebody Jack. off of last week yeah. or a year from a year Jack ago. Jack not wrong. He's not wrong. And Nyla not wrong either. But no. here's the thing. Um, yes, I can be a man and still be a good guy for you, a mm-hmm. good boyfriend, mm-hmm. but I still might be doing some cheating. I might be doing yeah. some dirt. That don't I, I, mean I'm was, a bad dude. Yeah, I was the worst bad guy for people because I was a great person. I help your mama. I go to church with your mom you do on too Sunday. Much. Do too much. And I'm saying Pray do a lot of great shit. I go to church with the mom. But, Man, that's, what do you that's mean? Because I'm that going to church. How can I, how can I, if I'm a woman, how can I not think this dude is in love with me? He went to I'm church with mom. That's what I'm saying. You're dangerous, bro. That's the worst. You're really dangerous. I'm the worst. You're a hit man. You should be in the mirror staring back in the future. But you know what? <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, I'm, we got 
I'm make the that guy. Mean. I'm the guy that your father will definitely want you to marry though, because I'm gonna hold you down, I'm gonna tech you, provide for you, and make sure everything is good with you. Just but not. I'm, I'm the one that your mom also told commit, you about. Though. Yeah, I'm the one your I'm mom just told do you about. I'm everything for you, but I'm commit. the best and the worst for you. We got to add things to the protect and provide thing because we lie. We we lie about that. Mm -hmm. We say protect and provide, but we only talk about one aspect of protection, okay. which is physical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because if you're protecting that heart. woman emotionally and mentally, mm -hmm. you're not gonna do things that's gonna hurt no her respect. internally. Mm -hmm. That shit hurt way worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like we lie to ourselves when we say we're protecting and provide. No, we're not. No, I'm not if you're out here fucking heart. a bunch of different women. No, you're not. You're damn, not protecting damn. her. You're not damn. protecting her heart. Damn. No, you're what right. What protect damn. your heart? Three oh. stacks. What do you say? God, what do you say? Guard your heart. Three mm. stacks. Guard, guard your heart. You got to get a condom for your heart. That's right. <laughs> Protection for your heart. <laughs> hey, let me ask you this. Uh, no, you know, you need cases. Yes, sir. Um, this is for everyone. I don't feel like you, my mom, you should be in contact with my mom after we break up. I don't like That's this. That's dangerous. That is dangerous. That's I don't dangerous. like it at all. I want you to let, I want all of us to let go. If we break up, then sorry, you don't have Friends access to my and family. Everything. And I got to tell my family, no, that's that dude did X, Y, and Z. Or that girl did X, Y, and Z. Yeah. We got to let that go. Mm, you know what mm. I'm saying? Sorry, mom. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like certain things that I know somebody who actually did me wrong. We ain't just break up. If we just broke up, and I see y'all might have communicated my sisters and my mom, maybe. Mm. But if somebody did me wrong, and you know they did me dirty, you still fuck with them? Mm. Fuck you, too. Mm. You it is different, saying? though, because I, I mean, there's, I, I love, I love some... You, you love some people's moms. That's a mom. You know yeah, my I mean? mom in prayer war, she prays for everybody. Love me, let me go. Let me go. My mom would pray for all me. the way. And the family me, too. Oh, I, don't want, I don't even want to hear because it's a, it's a doorway to evil. You ever time I hear that person's name, it just sends chills through my spine. It's trauma. Chills or trigger. That's trigger. It's a trauma. Yeah. It's it all trigger. depends on how y'all went away from each other though. I mean, if y'all would just broke up because y'all know y'all not compatible, that's different than... Well, you, you cutting things off that, that that doesn't feel good for me these days, it feels great It's the for best. Me. Nothing better. Yeah. Nothing better. Taking weight you, off. Just, you don't need it. You don't have to... I don't want to have to find a way to start dealing with things that don't make me happy. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're 100% correct. Oh, and, yeah. and I'm so much more free. Dead weight, man. Dead weight. Yeah. And I'm not holding on to nothing. All these First girls of all, was dead weight. All the what? All these women I was dealing with was all dead weight. Absolutely. I'm not holding on to nothing that you know, I feel like it's holding me back in any way, shape, or form. 100%. We all too grown for that. Like, yeah. we don't have to put up with nothing. We don't have to compromise for no people. Mm -hmm. We don't have to compromise for no situation. Mm -hmm. If it's not making you happy, let it go. Yeah. Let it go. What's weird with you, Wax, though? And I'm done at this. Talk to Is me. that, like, you... Because we already cutting a lot. So look. <laughs> you really, like... <laughs> You like take on all this responsibility for so yes. many people. God bless. Unnecessarily though. Mm. Um, like, I, and, and I, it'd be and I like it'd be like saving hoes that don't gotta be saved type shit. No, no. You say, when you say hoes, you don't mean. I'm just saying. Horse. I'm just saying. No, the no. Yeah, you got like people save. like family yeah. member. Everybody is yeah. poor. Like, yeah. In this situation. <laughs> yes, I didn't mean. I just meant you know the saying "save a hoe." That's what I'm okay. saying. Okay, like thank so you. I got a fiance, bro. You you saved. Ah, oh, fuck it. Niggas He's there for like a lot it. of people. He takes on a lot of responsibility he don't have to take on. Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, in my the, heart. But he goes to the full utmost, like going to church with the mom. Like, why are you doing all that? Ridiculous. Toxic as fuck. Like, that makes no sense. Toxic crusade. When you, 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 because when like mom he said, you could just out, put, or like the quote Jack posted, you just do all that into one <laughs> or into like. No, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm, I'm building know, yeah, one right are. now. But you before are. I was used to going to the church with the moms and stuff. And that look, was just me. So green. Now you got the farm. Got Everything. The you know why he used to do yeah. that? He used to do that to Go try ahead. to justify what it was he was doing. He knew wrong. what he was doing was wrong. Yeah. He knew he was doing them girls Surely. dirty. How was I doing <laughs> them wrong? But he wrong? think that if he go to church with the mom or have his mom pray for the girl, then it'll erase the sin Surely. of what it was That's he was doing. That's not true. The girl sneaked to go pray with my mom and she I was... Now she's sneaking. Now she's sneaking. she sneak to go pray with your mom? nothing about no Girl, sneak the church. I didn't know you. They talked about my mom that much. Sneak How they know your mom? They, everybody know my mom. My mom prayed. Could you stop? Mm. <laughs> Niggas said, my, my mom prayed too. Don't nobody stop? know my mom. <laughs> Could you stop? My mm. mom prayed for these women. So you, you again, like, God can't bless none of your mama prayers for you if you keep lying like this. Mm. How you doing this? Why wow. you lying? <laughs> What's up with him? It's silly. It's just silly. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> it's Damn. just silly we to lie. Well, that's to their you. prayers. We ain't talking about my prayers. We are. Right. So. Today we're unpacking wax. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some well, bills, man. Back back. Let's pay some bills. Uh, Culprit underwear. All right? Are you sick of literally sweating your balls off? All right? Don't let the heat rule. Shit, not even the heat. In this cold weather, sometimes our balls be sweating. Keep your boys cool with the softest, most breathable underwear ever worn. Culprit underwear. I know you're probably thinking another underwear brand. Don't we have enough? Yeah. I thought so too until I tried them. They changed my life. All right? Also, their prints. Pretty cute. 
Okay, all right. Pretty cute until you see how, you know, totally depraved and R-rated they are. But anyway, this brand pulls no punches. Where else are you going to get sharks eating surfers, raptors doing drug deals, and Godzilla eating samurais? Come on, that looks good on your drawers, don't it? They ship worldwide, but are made right here in the USA, unlike your other underwear that falls apart and is made in a Sri Lankan sweatshop where it's illegal for women to hold public office or in China, where there's an ongoing genocide. You can feel good about your sustainably made culprit underwear. How is it so eco-friendly? Well, it's made locally by workers earning a living wage and the fabric is 95% micro model which is made from beech trees and uses 20 times less water than cotton they're also softer and more breathable than cotton by an order of magnitude they come in boxer briefs for men and lady boxes for the ladies so go to culprituntherwear.com and use code idiots at checkout for 20% off that's code idiots at culprit c-u-l-p-r-i-t underwear.com for 20% off your order at checkout and today's show it's brought to you by the Red Panda Stock Club. Man, oh, thank you, Red Panda Stock Club, for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots. Are you tired of not knowing what to invest in and, and what to you know and what to exactly put your money in? You want to know what the safest, safest stocks to invest your money in are? Then join the Red Panda Stock Club. You probably know Ian yep. from his coverage in Forbes. Okay, from USA Today as one of the most exciting entrepreneurs of 2021, rolling out unfiltered. Uh, I just saw Ian, matter of fact, he records here at w WTF uh, Media Studios. He was just here, right, out. Yeah, he was just yeah, here. I just saw him. I saw him when I was walking in. Um, mm -hmm. And he's from the hit investing show, Market Mondays, that he does every week with Earn Your Leisure. Salute to my guys, Earn Your Leisure. They're oh, that was about it. Yeah, that yeah. Was it. Oh, we just, shit. We just saw him. Yeah. yeah. He, he made me some money. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah, he knows what he's doing. You, right. did, you yeah. was very happy to meet him. Yeah, again. I was. Yeah. <laughs> very. I was, was going to ask you about that. Who is that? <laughs> Well, there's a lot of people talking about investing, but none of them have the track record that he does, all right? Ian predicted things like Bitcoin recovering in less than 63 days from the lower 28,000. Um, and everything you need to know about Stock Club, man, he'll tell you about the best four stocks to invest in for the long term, the best entries on the planet that will tell you exactly where you should be looking to get in. He'll give you a year's worth for the best companies to invest in. He'll tell you about the worst companies to stay away from. He'll tell you about... Uh, Two stocks to invest in if we go into a full-blown recession. I mean, it's a lot. All right. So if you're tired of getting your ass kicked in the market and want to be able to win in the market, join the Red Panda Stock Club and investing will never be easier for you. Go to joinredpanda.com and enter the code idiots to get 50% off for the next two weeks. After that, the price will go back up. Results are not guaranteed. Join redpanda.com is not a registered investment advisor. All investment and financial opinions expressed by joinredpanda.com are from the personal research and experience of the owner of the site and our intended and education material. Salute to my dude, Ian. Now let's get back to the show. Let's do some church announcements. Wax, you got some church announcements? Yes, man. Go to uh, The Bully and the Beast every Wednesday. Um, and that one, I know y'all heard the story we was talking about earlier with L'Oreal. Man, y'all go check that out over there. We She's always amazing. talk about it. And um, go to whoswax.net and go get the gummies. You know what I'm saying? They go actually really going crazy. They're really good. I got to get you a pack. I know she always take them. How do you think they are? Oh, I don't do drugs. Oh, okay. You know well, what? It's Delta 8 and it's actually hemp, so it's actually not drugs. drugs. Oh. oh. Yeah, oh. CBD is actually really good. So go to whoswax.net there. And my bags is out there in LA. All the dispensaries out in LA, man, I got some work out there. So yeah, go to Who's Wax, go to Peaks, and um, order that Who's Wax for y'all dispensaries. Well, I will say I passed off some of your things to Issa Rae at the station. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She did. She did. She okay. was excited. Nala did it. Nala did it like she's sold drugs before. Mm. <laughs> that was a mean. That was a mean little handoff. <laughs> That's ghost sister. I took a picture. I'm like, hey, yeah. do, do you see? Yo, you, you Yo my brother got. Yeah, okay. Okay. I got some stuff look, for look, you. Look at that. Look at that. No, look no, no, no. That. That's on us. It's on us. <laughs> she ain't insecure no more. <laughs> Jack Thriller, you got some um, church announcements? What you 100%, doing? 100%, man. I just finished up the uh, 17th season, Wilding Out. Hey. Oh. The 16th season is still showing right now. Fire. Um, I, got, uh, um, I just did a deal with Nick Cannon. I'm running his podcast company, an incredible podcast. Wow. Uh, doing a, a podcast with Lily. Uh, the powder room. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Love to get it's on it's that. her and two other uh, um, beautiful young ladies and whatnot. Real Nikki Nicole um, and um, Baby Hashe. And they're talking about, you know, being cougars and dating younger men and women of a certain age. Then me and uh, Darius uh, McQuarrie, we got a, a podcast My guy. alongside uh, uh, Tyron Turner. 
Okay. Called the Escape Goat. Oh podcast. shit! Got to jump yeah, on yeah. that. Tyra Turner Kane from Goddamn yes, yes, Menace. Yes. Wow. We're shooting that on the West Coast. Uh, me, Music Soul Child, and uh, Carl Payne have a podcast called Matinee. <laughs> this is so random. As yes, fuck. yes, yes, yes. Music uh, yeah. and Carl Thomas. And Carl Payne. Oh, oh. Cole. Cole. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. More that's, reviews. Yeah, yeah. That's dope. That's yeah, dope. and then me and Silk the Shocker. Got a podcast. Charge it to the game. You spreading yourself real thin. One hundred percent. Hey, <laughs> when you bite off more than you can chew, you got to learn how to eat faster. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> Tony Ayo podcast with Daniel Jean. Uh, it's called uh, uh, Welcome to the Culture and whatnot. It's and Haitian he's all going to be on Incredible? It's all going to be on Incredible. Go ahead, go ahead. Do your wow, thing. His podcast. Bro. You know Scruncho. Uh, no. Comedian from West Coast. He, he skate. Hey, y'all, you got to do the little skating thing. Comic View alumni. Oh, you know him if you see him. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just a, a bunch of different things like 16 or better. Once again, 16 or better. It's the new rap cypher and whatnot. If you got bars and everything, I don't know if you've seen the BET cypher and what you, you you probably can't get on that. But you can get on my cypher. It's been mm. shot in Atlanta. I got my own studio there. 10 minutes away from the airport. Make sure you get in the hottest cypher out right now. Big Boy just gave us a stamp. He just, you know what I'm saying, posted it up on his Instagram. Dope. It's going up. It's I'm going up. I'm man. Uh, hosting a, uh, running the podcast network. Ain't no joke. Hey man, I'm I'm here for it. I was inspired by my brother Charlemagne because I at the time I was looking for to be to do my own podcast, but then I couldn't never find an end and whatnot. And then you know I I, I, told, I was talking to Nick about it, and he had been trying to do he was this, trying to do it, yeah. But he was me saying I was missing a Jack Thriller. I was missing a Dolly Bishop. I couldn't do none of this without my sister Dolly. Salute to Dolly. Dolly's amazing. Dolly's yeah. the president of the Black Family Podcast Network. You know, named the number nine most powerful person in podcasting. I don't do nothing. Yeah, you Dolly. Know what I mean? That's what it's all about. Yeah. I'm, I'm about to be Dolly. Hey, Dolly used to work for Nick Cannon. Yeah, Dolly, yeah, yeah. Dolly. She, yeah. she, she worked. Yeah. She, worked, she worked with Nick for a minute. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. She worked. She was uh, Nick's assistant. One hundred. I mean, Dolly oh, done wow. did all types of different yeah. stuff in the industry. Like, yeah, Dolly worked in the. You got the right one. That's my sister. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what people don't understand. Like, that's family. Like, mm -hmm. for years. Like before mm -hmm. Dolly was, we were doing any of this together. We just. Crew, yeah, family, 100%. you know that's family. Bro, bro. That's, I, that's I love Dolly. I will, you will die about Dolly. That's what's up. That's just how it goes. Yeah, leave Dolly alone. Yeah, you ain't even got to worry about it. There's no we're right or wrong. Right, right. I don't care. <laughs> right. I don't care who right or wrong in this situation. You fuck with Dolly, you gonna have some real problems. I like that. I will exhaust every resource I got yeah. to make sure that you know. Justice is served. Ooh, <laughs> you love that. Yeah, the relationship ain't like this. That's you it. don't need. That's family. <laughs> but I don't play. I, like you know what I mean. You got to like. That's loyalty. Like you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like it's mm -hmm. just. I don't play about my relationship. I don't know about everybody else. I don't have like fair weather friends. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Remember Johnny Gill had that song? Wait, was, I'll was be being, your fair. That was Johnny Gill. Oh, Johnny Gill? I'll be your fair weather friend. You right. No, I'm I bugging. Thought you, you, I thought it was boys to me. No. All right, I don't need no fair weather friend. What the fuck was that song? Oh, yeah. my God. Hold I'm on, let me gospel. see. You really started. Why you looking at for that? Age, hey, I also signed okay. with the 85 South. They booking all my um, comedy shows right now. Fire. And oh, whatnot. Dope. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a it's a it's a pleasure to honor. Great things coming your way. See what happens when you give a one woman and one woman pour into yeah. it. One woman. But Jack, That's right. Jack, Jack, Jack been on the scene oh, yeah. for how many years though? Jack it was, been no, grinding. Was the, it was the lyrics. It's true. I won't be no fair weather friend. I knew mm. I wasn't tripping. Mm. I won't be no fair weather friend. You was one I'll be there right. till the end. You know what I mean? He a boys and man cousin. <laughs> 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 now, you got church announcements? Um, yeah, no, for sure. Podcast starts back up in January. The what? The what? With Mouse Jones With on the Black Mouse. Effect. Yes. Uh, people keep hitting me up about it. I'm sorry, but it's coming back. It's going to be Why great. Why stop? It was a... It, it, it was, a, coming, never mind. It was like a cool. test. It, it was, was like a, a test, test run. It was, a, oh. you know, but, they'd be back. It was looking good. Y'all on the radio and everything, man. I was in it. Yeah, man, we coming back. Speaking of radio, I got a new show coming up um, on the radio. You can't that, announce that, can you? I'm not. I'm just saying, oh. like, be on the lookout for it. You okay. know, I'm already on okay. power every okay. Sunday. Fire. You know what I mean? But um, it's going to be dope. The Holy Spirit is moving. Yeah, uh -huh. no, it's going to be Holy really Ghost good. And then, of course, you know, you catch me on Fridays. I used to be on Revolt, but now I'm on Comedy Central with okay. Charla. So, you know, just tap in, tune in. Good things happening. Yeah. Nyla is the official DJ of the God's Honest Truth. Yeah. Fire. Every Friday night at 10 p.m. on Comedy you Central. You really be DJing? I oh, don't let them play you like that. No, don't SW let them disrespect you like that. She was SW1. <laughs> oh, she out there rocking. She's like, who is SW1? It, it, it's a good time. You got to come. I'm, yeah. I would love to. Yeah, you got to come. Come tomorrow. Yeah. Damn, I got to fly back in today. Oh, you're going um, back to Atlanta? Yeah. You got to get back to wifey. Yeah. I'm no, not mad at that. I love that. Yeah, not mad at all. Same thing, though. You know, um, 10 p.m. Friday nights, Comedy Central, The God's Honest Truth. We had a dark week last week. We back with new episodes this week. You can stream uh, the first five episodes on Paramount Plus. Huh? What was so dark about it? 
It was it, we didn't do it. That's TV for we didn't have an episode. Oh yeah 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 yeah. We were so dark about it. Twice as dark. But um yeah, this episode. Damn, I don't even know if I can announce. I don't want to announce who's gonna be on this week because it ain't taped yet. So I don't want to ah, something come up James. and it don't happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, peace. But um yeah, just tune in this Friday at 10 p.m. And if you want to catch up on the first five episodes, uh, Paramount Plus is the streaming service. Check out BlackEffect.com. Um, oh, and Anita, make sure you go out there and grab Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters, available everywhere Fire. you buy books now. Uh, Tamika Mallory's State of Emergency is out there too. First two releases off my book imprint, Black Privilege Publishing. Now. Uh, oh, wait, I'm sorry. I have uh -huh. one more. So I'm dropping a song with uh, this artist from the DMV. Her name is Alex Vaughn. She actually okay. just signed um, to, to LVRN with Summer Walker. And um, who else is on there? Black and Division. So black is back together? Boom, like an no, no, not No, 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 not <laughs> black that. Black Street. Black, like, with the number six, L-A-C-K, oh, from Atlanta. Oh, new niggas, new niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they hard, too, though, but I don't know what they You don't they like doing. Black Street? I used to no, love that black remix, Street. man. Boom, like 808? No, Boom, so, like 808 remix? Yeah, the remix. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. going to spin yeah. that. That's I'm going to spin that tomorrow. hard. Not Black Street, just Black. He talking about Black for the Q, right? No, I don't think it was a girl group. They, the girl they were like group. a a TLC. Yeah, they spun uh, off of Left Eye. Yeah, 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 they, yeah. I think that was Left Eye's group. It was. And one of them, one of them died. I yeah, think she got hit by a car. That was uh, uh, what's the name? Um, All right, it's getting dark. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Yeah, it's getting dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Salute to corrupt. corrupt. Rest in peace to that yeah, queen. Alex Vaughn. It just got black. Black Street. Alex Vaughn, Deontay Hitchcock. Oh, Devontae. Devontae Hitchcock. Devontae's on it too. Yeah. Wow. Jodeci. No, no, man. No, man. This is all Black like Street. new things. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all new guys. Yes. Let's do some shit you won't care about next week. Couple quick ones. Uh oh, this was interesting. Meek calls out his label for not paying him. Um and then you he can see that shit. <laughs> yes, I have two eyes, Jack. <laughs> That'll do it. Uh, That'll do it. Me, me calls out his label for not paying him. Keisha Cole jumped in and said she wasn't getting paid too. That was that was an interesting conversation because I'm like, Meek, you know, Meek been around a long time. Yeah. If you think the label's shorting you, audit the label. Mm -hmm. Like that happens in business all the time. And auditing, you know, the company that you're in business with or the company that you're partnered with is not a bad thing. It, ha it literally happens all the time. You have to do it. You have to, how Biggie said, you got to have lawyers watching lawyers to make sure you don't go broke. You got to make, you got to have people watching those situations to make sure the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. You need to know mm -hmm. where every dime is getting, you, mm -hmm. dime is spent. You need to know where expenses are. There's right. absolutely nothing wrong with auditing. But I do want to point out, artists get advances. So if you get an advance, right? Like let's just say Atlantic gave Meek $3 million. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Meek knows this. But Atlantic gave Meek $3 million. If you don't recoup on the money, you know what I mean? Atlantic's in the red, right? Mm -hmm. But you got three mil, you owe the label. Ain't like you gonna have to have, ever have to pay the label back. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, yo, you got that advance. So don't act like you never got no money from the label. Mm -hmm. It's just an advance. It's an irrecoupable advance. You know, it's not free money. But that's the only thing I would tell artists. You know what I mean? I get what they saying though. Like they didn't get no royalties on the back end. Royalties on the back end are always a headache. And that's usually where the audits come in at. So if you think, you know, if Meek believes he sold a lot of records, Enough records the way he recouped and he should be getting his back in money. Audit the fucking label. Mm -hmm. Simple mm -hmm. as that. And I wish he didn't take that to Instagram. I wish he didn't take that to social. Yeah. Because nobody's going to have remorse for Meek. Because I definitely don't feel sorry. Meek, is, Meek, my, Meek is a stunner. Just paid my Ge Georgia Power bill and whatnot. That's what I'm saying. That like, they, like, they don't want it. Like, <laughs> and I saw it. I saw people saying, who cares? Like, you know, we got... Yeah. Other problems like Meek, you yeah. a millionaire. Like mm. you, Meek, you be with the billionaire. So I get it. You know what I yeah, mean? That's, that's stuff like that. I feel like should be handled behind the scenes. One hundred percent. Meek sure. a boss. You a boss, Meek. You know yeah. what I mean? Meek a boss now. Like he ain't. He used to call himself Little Fish. He ain't Little Fish. He Big Fish. Mm. Yeah. You know. So I think stuff like that should be handled behind the scenes. Um, Issa Rae, Insecure. What y'all think of that? The whole I AKA love situation. It's a good show. I hate the AKA situation. Okay, break it down. Because Issa's just trying to, like, the show just represents our reality. So I don't, like, the fact that they're suing her for representing and putting on, like, for people who are watching that who don't even know who the AKA are, is shedding more light on you. Yeah. You kidding me? So the sorority, the AKs, is suing Issa Rae? Yeah, because... No, I don't think they suing. They suing? They not suing. Oh. They not suing. Yeah. Oh, they not suing? Why would you get mad at somebody putting promotion Oh, it was just backlash. Yeah. yeah. Because they worked very hard 
for those letters. You know what I mean? They worked very hard to pledge and pass or whatever they call it. So they don't want it represented. And that's the thing. That's my thing. It's like, you know, I thought that when you use those logos and those letters, you have to get, you know, clearance from the organization. Yeah. So if I was a, you know, a member of a, a Greek fraternity or sorority, I would tell the organization, we don't want our shit represented you know, unless it's people actually that are in the organization, Respect. period. Not yeah. in a fictional way, yeah. not in a, a you know, a, a, a person like, you know, when Boosie wore the shit at the game. Yeah. I don't want none of that happening. Oh, yeah. Like, that yeah. that, that, that would be, my, instead yeah. of aiming at, you know, my good sister Amanda Seals, who I love dearly, I would, are even aiming at Esau, the production, mm. tell the organization, we don't want nobody wearing our shit, mm. period. Yeah. Not fictional, not in real life, nothing. If you're you, not part of the sorority or frat, you Done. just brought it home for me. I, at first, I thought they was tripping. I, that that does make sense. Yeah, it does. You do. That's it. Oh, you know what? Go back to that meat tweet. I do want to say one thing about that tweet real quick. It was it was something I saw in that tweet that made a lot of sense, and it 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 kind of it proves what I was saying because I saw Meek say something like he doesn't know how much his label makes off him. That's why you audit the label. You know what I'm saying? You audit the label. You can see how many, like he said, I haven't got, I haven't gotten paid for music and I don't know how much money labels make off me. I need lawyers ASAP. He has gotten paid for music because he's got an advance, right? But I get what he's saying. He's saying, you know, go scroll back up, Taylor. He's saying that he don't, he didn't, I'm assuming he didn't get no royalties. He doesn't know how much the, the, the label make off him. Very important to know. Mm. All of them. Mm. And I want anybody that's in any business to do the same thing. Mm. Even people that are in business with me. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Audit us. So you know exactly what it is, you know, you're doing, and you know where where where, where the money is is being spent. One hundred percent. That's all. That's all. Mm. What's give, give us another one, Ted? What's another uh, shit we won't care about next week? Donald Trump and Alex Baldwin is interesting. The Donald uh, the Donald Trump we know about the Alex Baldwin thing. Where Alex, the way he shot somebody. Yeah, he accidentally shot somebody. Wow. Donald Trump. Go, show show yeah, Jack. Look at the t shirt. Look at the t shirt, Jack. Look at the t shirt. This is the t shirt that Donald Trump Jr. put out. This is the T-shirt. Did somebody set him up and put a real gun? Yeah, on some Brandon Lee type shit. Look at the T-shirt. Guns don't kill people. Alex Baldwin kills people. That's amazing. Wow. Now, Donald Trump Jr. made wow. that shirt because, you know, we all know on SNL, Alex Baldwin be playing. Yep, um, he sure did. Be playing Donald Trump. Trump. This, this is fair. Time. This is fair in Love and War. It is. I'm, I, not, at it, I'm not mad at um, uh, Trump for but, doing but that. But is the Baldwin guy going to jail? Nah. Nah. So, not that we know of. You know what's so interesting about this? Donald Trump Jr. loves his dad, bro. Yeah, he do. Yeah, he does. As he should. That's right. what I'm saying. <laughs> like, he's, he go, he's going to war for his pops. You fuck with my well, pops, I'm coming for funny. you. He might probably thought it's funny. I'm it's sure his, his, his crowd, like, listen, we talked about this earlier. Everybody yeah. plays today's crowd. Yeah, maybe you got to play yeah. your crowd. We talked about it. Lil Nas mm -hmm. X is playing his crowd. Boosie playing his crowd. Mm -hmm. You were playing to your crowd 100%. with the 2 chain shit. Yep. Donald Trump Jr. for his crowd, they mm. love that. Yeah, and then yeah. it's going to be a whole other group of people who he hate it. Yeah. He I would have did that. Shit. I would have did that if you I was definitely him. Did you know that. why shit yeah. like this blows up? Because Donald Trump Jr. people are reposting it, laughing their ass off. Mm. And, they and people it. that hate Donald Trump Jr. are reposting it, saying how terrible he is. Mm. Uh -huh. Either way, he wins. He won. He won. Yeah. <laughs> he won. <laughs> no such thing as bad press these days? No. No, it is. Uh, is it? It is. It is. It is. is. Yeah. But, but, either, but either way, isn't it the name of the game these days? And uh, on Charlemagne eyeballs, the more yes. eyeballs you got. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm more. saying. There is bad press, but it just depends. You want to get caught jerking off? Bad press. Yeah, but you can live for you can you can live past it. We've proven it time and time again that yeah, you know right. that uh, like what is it called? We won't care about it in two weeks news. Yeah, she, yeah. she won't care about it next week. And then think about it. You get caught jacking off. All your PR gonna say is. But you got a hundred million impressions. One hundred percent. He was mentioned a hundred million times across all of these various platforms. We should come out with a jack off content. <laughs> we definitely have to monetize it. <laughs> Keep talking about jacking off everywhere you go. Talk we about the jacking off thing over there. The new jack Fuck. off condom. Man. <laughs> you can normalize jacking off, Jack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you can do a jack people walk. jacked off. A jack this off person walk. jacked off. This person jacked off. Like Jesus. Yo, off. If they got a slut walk, you could have a jack off. If 100 percent right, 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 right. And then we can use one of the jacks on the me. Jack Thriller. Kevin Gates was on Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast without guys Wallow and Gilly. And he said that he doesn't ejaculate on purpose. Right? And, and and there is a such thing as um they call it semen retention. retention yeah. That's a, it's a fact. I've been telling you, you can look it up. For how long? It, it, 
You told me that you I have blue, you, you, you have blue I, balls. I, no, not, it's not, it's not the same. What are you talking about? How I have sex with girls and I don't give them the nut because I don't believe they deserve it. That's what not what you about? used to say. I, I know. What what you say. Say. All my shows. What, what does he say? How much you want that? That's not what you used to say. You Taylor, what does he say? I he, say that all the time. Yeah, he did. He How many years? Oh, 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 he's entertaining. He definitely started that. Oh, he was entertaining the podcast crowd. Yeah. Because behind <laughs> the scenes. I was nothing. But behind the scenes is, bro, I got a problem. I can't nut, bro. I got to go talk nuts. to somebody, bro. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but that's not how you spell it on the but, podcast. But, but listen, clearly. listen. Wait. I wasn't. Let's put it like this. At one point, I couldn't nut. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of times, I was not giving the girl because I don't think she deserved it. Man, and I was please. like, "Listen, that's the girl owe you something side. if you don't need." That's him looking at the nut <laughs> half full. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. what the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? Get the fuck out of here! You were yeah. not saying that before. Nah. Yeah, he used to be right. mad. I, I, I put nut. like this. All y'all on the podcast, make sure y'all to put all that shit on, on Charlemagne page. I've been telling y'all this for how many years. I don't care years. what you were telling them. I'm but telling you what you were it. telling me you, behind yeah, the scenes. What you mean? You thought you had point. voodoo on you. I, it was at one point. It was fucked up. My fucking balls were You fuck, thought you had voodoo on you. You used to tell me. Like, y'all think this girl got something on me. I can't nut when I'm with another girl. I, yeah, I couldn't nut. I, 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 I found the shit. I ain't never heard this thing. You don't get what you deserve. The girl don't deserve You crazy as hell. I always sit there and say, if you want to have a sandwich by a girl, you want a girl to feed you and, and make sure she always be nice to you make sure you don't nut because now she feel like damn you she, she ain't doing her job i'm glad you found a way to look at the bright side i'm just saying that behind yeah, the that, scenes okay when y'all see it go behind, ahead and look no great whatever look you that. said on the podcast great i'm talking yeah. about what you used to tell me behind the scenes it, that's one time it wasn't one time one time it was a season i got fucked up you right i couldn't nut well, how many seasons it was that fuck like three months bro no this, how long have you seen this with Braum and Blaine? Because you know. How many seasons with Braum and Blaine? About 17 or something. Yeah, all right. You and Braum about the same, yeah. bro. <laughs> it was about that, it was about that whole no. heat era. How long he, my, Braum no, was the heat? No, no, no. I was living in my area that time. Oh, season. shit. No, it was right after that. It was a season for you now. It was a season. It was a season. He has definitely talked about it. I've seen it. I saw it. I heard it. I was like, damn, this motherfucker can't nut. What's wrong with that? I couldn't nut. Baby, this is a long time ago. How long? How you had your baby? Does she really be listening to this? Hell yeah. Lord, oh, baby. yeah, she do. <laughs> oh, yeah, she oh, yeah. do. She still ain't like, let us be back together again. Yeah. Really? She don't like this right now? I mean, she no, don't like she, it. she cool now because your, your Instagram getting much better. Thank God for Lili. Thank God for Lili, Lili, man. Lili, man. We appreciate it. Tell you. me, though, man. Yeah. You was wilding, Jack. Jack. Smoke signals. Yo, yo, I said, Jack, don't do that no more. And next video, she's like, what's this? You got... Never mind. I don't want to get you in trouble. Huh? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let's um, let's do some... <laughs> oh, the black polygamy thing. I, you had oh, a black God, polygamy geez. thing? It was... I, I, was, I was entertaining the thought about, you know, being in a polygamous relationship and whatnot. I don't think there's nothing wrong with having that conversation. Right, right. Yeah, it's just monogamy, polygamy, it's this conversation. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to see what, but I, I still don't know how to say it to her. Who? Lily and say, hey. Oh, that's what? why you just say it on the podcast and then she'll ask you about it later. Mm -hmm. Anything you don't want to, anything you want to talk to your woman about no, that you're afraid I, to? I don't want to, listen, I don't want to do it. Only I, I want to know what you think about it. <laughs> yeah, for real. What you think about it. If you she think wins, okay. you might consider it. If, she, if that's what she wants. Yeah, anything for her. Anything for her, yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. But what if she say she want a guy? Is that a problem? I don't date women that say shit like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I ain't got time. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would the fuck would you tell me something? No, nah, that is silly. You not smart. You ain't paying attention. So why the hell would she agree to it? Oh, because it, oh, but she, she might want somebody to help her clean the house. 100%. She might not say, yeah. Oh my god. You could pay somebody for that. You don't gotta be dating them. But we get it for free. We can get it for free, and no, then... you need to make more money to pay the person don't do to that, do it. Man. Yeah. I would encourage any woman. Don't do that. Don't do that unless you. It's with a man that you know gonna be with you. Because I seen some shit, man. I seen women get. <laughs> Turned out, have to sit with pastors crying, think they going to hell mm. because you know they they religious. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. now they think they part of the they wanted they think they part of the LGBTQ community mm. and they think that <laughs> gay people going to hell. You know what I mean? Like right, that that, right. that nonsense. Mm. And I've seen them like be very very upset, and then the dude just leave. Mm. You know mm. what I mean? Now you done ate pussy <laughs> crying to the pastor. Aww. You know what I mean? And this dude ain't even with you no more. Damn. You know yeah, what I mean? What kind of piece of shit man would do something like that? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Lord have mercy. And then, see, that's the, we was talking about double standards. A man can't do no gay shit like a little bit one time. <laughs> yeah, they can. I think I think this generation a little different. Crazy yeah. as hell. What's gay shit? If you gay, if you do like, gay shit, you, you I gay. I don't know a girl that's like admittedly saying that her man used to like, had a phase. 
You never nah, hear about it. Gotta them. be some out there. You never hear about it. You never I, hear about it. I, I think there definitely there. are girls out there. I just don't know any. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I, I don't know any. I don't know a girl who said my man just had a phase for a season and then he came back. Think, that was a whole episode of Insecure. But I think maybe if the girl you know, has experience also. Like, they both did. Because then they're just both sexually fluid. So then right. it really doesn't but matter. But girls can't be but gay, though. Girls can't be gay, yeah. yeah they can't. Can't. What do you mean? Uh, and he's right. So like, what's the L for? What do you... And the, the LGBT L- is for yeah. ladies. Yeah. Like, that's for just like in... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yeah, LL Cool J. He's so stupid. Ladies love. That's the problem. That's so the, those are the double standards that we have created that don't even make no damn sense. I, I, I see what you're trying man. to say. I see mm-hmm. if, you, if you never told a story, you're not a liar. If you ever lied before, you're a liar. If you sit there and touch the guy before, you gay. If not, you're not gay. I'm saying, so if you ever played around over there like that and talking about I'm a season, you can't come back from being gay, right? Bro, I don't even jack off no more because it's a man. But does work the same way with women? <laughs> no, it don't work the same way with women. <laughs> you said what? What did you say? What did you say? I don't even jack off no more because it's a man's hand. <laughs> I, Jack, I used to say the same thing. I, you know how you, you never used to it? say the same thing. We had that conversation here on the podcast. Yo, I know. That's what I told him. But listen, and I, I fucking you, stopped I said, doing. I said, Wax, have you ever had a man's hand on your penis? And I said, no. That's a lie. These ain't no hands. These fucking look at these shit. They was a hand. <laughs> what are you doing? They ain't no and, really and, if you, and if you jacked off and looked in the mirror, you got turned that's on what make you not by it. another man. Yeah. And it's also if the most narcissistic mirror, shit you could ever do. the fucking stupidest shit I ever did. It's the it most narcissistic, so egotistical shit. You try shit. to catch it, it went down no, in the man. other hand. You catch it? Yeah. You put it on you? I don't want no. You, you catch it so you don't get it on the I floor. I never put that shit on my what? body at all. You bugging. No, you, you don't put it on you. You catch it? You do what the fuck you shooting off at? You ain't never jack off on your back? I wash it off on the same. You never jack off on your back? In my back. On your back. You never jack off on your back? But where it go? Damn. You bro. tell me. How big is this dick? What you telling me that? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't even want to have this conversation, man. How can you jack off on his back? You know what? Jack Shirley just... How can you jack off on your back? That's you what mean? Laying on I your back? I'm oh, laying on your back. Yes. Oh, I thought you were yes. going to hit him in the back. Like, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Like, so what the fuck are you talking about? I was jacking oh, off my Lord. back. Oh, Lord. He's basically talking about jacking off. Like People be like jacking off and it land on them. Bro, you let a dude nut on you, bro. You yeah. nut you nut, you nut it on yourself. What do I look like? Y'all are ridiculous. How you, you nut on yourself? With yourself? <laughs> yeah, that was wow. gay. How you I, I hated it. You kept, I hated it. Hold on, you can't go on your belly button. Some dumb it shit. got in my belly button. I you hated wild it. Guy. So, so you hated can it. hold on. So you can catch your own shit <laughs> in your hand, no sense. but not nut on you. your body. I'm not nutting on my body. And I cut, cut you with tissue. You've nut on your body before, bro. There's no way. You're, you're telling me, you're just like, you're happy. Like, what no. the fuck so, are you so doing? If you jacking off on your back, it's never busted and just fell on you? Why would I be on my back jacking off? That's <laughs> 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 fucking crazy as hell. Why are you like this? <laughs> you got a fucking a, a, a camp? You got something on the top of your ceiling? Man, somebody please make that a meme, man. <laughs> I don't want that one gift. Why would I be on my back jacking off? <laughs> No context, no nothing. Yeah. Just make saying, the is goddamn there, is there TV me. on the ceiling or something? Like, why are you there? Why not? Oh my gosh! If that shit make you make yourself. Why do you lay good? on your back to let a girl ride you? Oh, uh, because it feels so good. You telling me that? You tell me that you make yourself feel good? You can't yes. make yourself feel that good, bro. What's the whole point of jacking off is to make yourself feel good? You can make yourself feel good for real. Time out. What are we jacking off for then? I don't just know to get why it I out. Do it. I why don't do? Know why why do? It's so dumb. You just get it out yeah. just because you would think better. But Am I, I missing you, something? You do think Nyla, what is masturbation? It's so you can feel good. This is, no, 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 but no. You know, for you, girls. You know, you know for what girls. I, I used to do it before, before I was inside a really a good relationship, is that if a girl asked me to buy her something that was stupid or He's if I was going to go to a restaurant that was expensive, I knew I couldn't afford, I would jack off and they like, no, that's Clear bullshit. Thought. There you go. It helped you recognize the There's, bullshit. That's yep. not always true. Get that true. shit out. No, get it out. I'm that, talking about that, that, that sign of anything. Go ahead, now. It, it helps, yes, but the point of it Clear is for pleasure. That's right. Mm. No, for yeah. women. I had got control of myself. No, no. I, what both. I'm saying is I did. But it works both ways for both also. Why do you think we jerk off before the girl come over? We don't give a fuck about that. That shit don't make us feel good. We just try to Last longer for the girl. Yeah. Yes, but what about now? I do it for pleasure. Even my no whole way. life, I've done it for pleasure. You jerk off I'm, for pleasure I'm, now? I'm yeah. to last to now, now, what you're saying is you're true. Bugging. What you're saying is true because that's another aspect of it. But for the majority of people, they masturbate for pleasure, men and women. I just yeah. need that out of me. I don't. I don't. I do not try to pleasure my. This feel good. Every, every each one He's of these. Stop doing this. Hold on. So this feel good every time you do this. Yes. Why do you jack off on the 
you only it's only like a good feeling for like five seconds if yeah you telling me as you're doing it you feel good you like yes. oh yeah this feel good hell yeah what the fuck you, you about to tell yourself it's a girl hands it's a girl hands it's a girl hands it's a girl hands it's a girl hand. I, I need some new hands. I love it. Like head back voice. and everything. I mean, oh, man. <laughs> There's no way. Yo. Oh. These shits are not help, making me feel good. I'm telling you. These shits are not good. Do you still jack off as a Do you still jack off as a married man? Yes. Why? Absolutely. I mean, because it's certain circumstances. Like, you know, right? My, my wife just had a baby <laughs> a month ago. Yeah, them shits You know what I mean? So it's certain circumstances. Even the... Last couple months of pregnancy, you know, you yeah, you ain't nothing happening. You know, like yeah, that, she looking at you stupid. She like, tired. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's selfish. So you yes. ain't even ask for no head shit. Like, nah, 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 you gotta let them be. Oh, tired, man. Tired, whatever she wants. That's oh, right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So yes, hundred percent. Gotcha. Yes, did a lot of Pornhub last yeah. four or five months. I seen I've some, been with a lot of pregnant girls, and you, they were still cool. Was early like, on, know. though. Okay. Early on. Early on. And then it depends. When their feet start swollen, everything That's what I'm saying. Yeah. They, they don't feel sexy. It's a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I ain't tripping. That's just part of it. Get so, yourself back. Interesting. I can't believe you acting like that, Wax. But what? Acting like what? Like, you don't be fucking jerking off. Like, no, 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 no. I'm just saying I can't see myself enjoying the whole time. But then you're not thinking about the right shit. That's it. You watch porn on... Like, it don't matter. This is not making me feel good until it's about that, the nut. Do you call it jerking off instead of jacking off because you don't want to think about Jack Thriller? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good some part about it. That's a good way to Yo, think of it. Too. That's a good way to think of it. Now I'm never saying jack off now, ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to name the podcast, Jack Off. Oh, <laughs> my God. Featuring Jack Thriller. I don't even want to do no asking idiots. I didn't ask these idiots enough this, <laughs> this past couple hours, man. Uh, Jack Thriller, thank you, my brother, well, for pulling you, up. Give me your Twitters and Instagrams and all that stuff. It's at Jack Thriller um, for Instagram, and it's uh, at J uh, Young Jack Thriller on Twitter. And I just got my um, Facebook back. My wife stole it for, uh, for when we got a divorce. Dope. And I uh, just got it back a couple months ago. So it's Young yeah. Jack Thriller on Facebook. Please follow right now. Please follow 16 or better, the number 16 or better. And you know what I'm saying? Check out the hottest ciphers ever. Thank and, you so much for having me. NYLA, get yours. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on TikTok now. At oh, Nyla yeah? Simone. Yeah. I, I don't be do dancing that. or nothing. I just be talking. I might need to do that one day. Yeah. Now the talking, I ain't gonna lie. There's some shit going on on TikTok I need to be in on. I didn't know that That's it was, cool. it, I didn't know it was like book talk and all types of other shit going on. Really? Yeah. yeah and I've been talking to my man at What's TikTok, that? my dude Eddie. They got book talk over there and like book a reviews. lot of the stuff I do about mental health goes crazy over there. And like even God's Honest Truth Clips been going crazy. I think they said I got like 50 million impressions or something. Something stupid. I don't know. Yo, Charlamagne, you were supposed to help me put my, uh, my book out, uh, Side Chick Holiday. I still got that, man. Let's talk about it. Okay. Yeah, let's talk about it. I'm my man. It. I got, it's I got, all done. I got everything written out. Every, it's, it's, I'm, I'm excited. I'm in the book business for uh, the foreseeable future. We got a couple releases next year. We, we're supposed to have three next year, but definitely two next year. We put out two this year, but yeah, we'll, we'll definitely talk about it. My man. 100%. I'm going to write a book too. You what don't even read. Nobody will buy it. You don't read. How much you want to you've, you've, you've talked too much about not reading shit, and writing. Bro, my shit will fucking sell crazy. Do, a, do an audible book. Why? Because you talking. So people can listen to you. That's more, I think that's more on brand. Yeah. But my 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 uh, book is going to be really nice and simple and easy. Big letters. You like, in college huge. doing book. <laughs> now I'm going to do real big letters. <laughs> like each is going to probably have like two or three words on each um, page. I ain't going to tell y'all about it. Audible. It's be really dope. So you're doing a children's book basically. No, it's going to be wax. A children's book for adults. You know how many people like me? A children's book. Yeah, you can do like a children's book for adults. Whatever. That's stuff. dope. That'd be I dope. like it. That'd like be dope. It. That'd be dope. Why not? Like two, three words on each fucking page. They real nice and big. And people just, it's so <laughs> easy, man. I could do that. Let's do it. I'm with it. Uh, Nino Blue is here too. Salute to Nino, man. Yo, Blue. Nino pulled up. He got a show Friday. He do wear it. Ghost Face Killer, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow. That's what's up. Nino bought the boat from me. We not had the boat company in, in I Orlando. Told me. You Nino bought the boat? boat, man. He got a boat company out there now. He a boat owner. Man. Nah, the level up is crazy. Yeah. Brian <laughs> Page. Well, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. And remember. Salute to WTF Media. That's what we recorded today, man. Salute to Alex and Wheezy and everybody at WTF. All right? Peace. Peace.